Ben, ba ba ben, ba 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 ben. Tom, 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 tom. Ben. No, no, no. Tom, 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 tom. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome. Welcome back. How you doing? Man, real good. I'm doing real good too. Real, real jazzy, real, oh, real nice. That's good pep you up music, isn't it? Yeah, it just gets you, oh, ready for adventure. Yeah. And then fucking Loxana Troy walks in, right. like, lol, there's no adventure. <laughs> only sadness. Only, only soap opera. Yeah. Boo. Not the one, not the dream. Oh, not in this day and age. In the Netflix age, we can just skip next. That's very true. Imagine waiting a whole week for a Loxana Troy episode. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> God, that, ain't, that just ain't the one. Um, but yeah, so what's been going now? Uh, I had a week off last week. Ooh. I well, I mean, I did a couple of streams, but wasn't in the office, which was cool. Very nice, very snazzy. Mm. I did some painting, did some reading, did some chilling, did some gaming. Ooh. It was very nice. How about yourself? Um, no... No painting. Um, we played. We played some toy cars. Ooh, how'd it go? It was great. Ah, oh, brilliant! Uh, did you try your motorbike swarm or your big bus? Uh, I did the big bus. Mm -hmm. Big bus, very cool. And then a friend of mine was like, "I want to use a monster truck." Um, and so I was like, "Fine, I'll I'll take a whole load of little cars <laughs> that are perfect <laughs> to be run over with a monster truck." How did um, it go? It was great. Uh, so he had uh, like a monster truck mm -hmm. and. Uh, three motorbikes with his monster truck. Oh, okay. To uh, did he run over any of his own motorbikes? No. Um, but was playing like this gang, which is a bit like the sort of special rules orcs cult of speed, mm -hmm. where the faster they go, they get more like audience votes that they can then spend on other things. Oh, that's fun. Um, whereas I was playing as this one, which means all of your cars are a little bit cheaper mm -hmm. and they're a little bit shitter. Mm -hmm. uh, and you get like audience votes when your cars explode. Mm. And so all of my cars were basically set up to just be mega bombs. And in the very first turn of the game, uh, so hang on, this has quickly gone from, oh, I'll just take a shit list that you can crush, oh. to, oh, no, I'm, when you try and crush me, I will destroy you. <laughs> and well, get points for it. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Kind <laughs> of. But yeah, the, come the end of the first turn, uh, I had. So I started out with three cars. I had uh -huh. one car left, and the monster truck was left. Everything else had blown up. <laughs> in one turn. <laughs> in one turn of the game. Oh, and holy shit. Uh, then, hmm. uh, yeah, we just went from there. It was it was really good. Oh, that sounds really fun. Um, so yeah, uh, hmm. that was it. The, what game was this? It was called Gaslands. Gaslands. Uh, it's a very, very fun game. Hmm. Um, I still need to try it. I've been trying so many different games recently. It's hard to hard to find time for them all. Yeah, geez, God, like so little time, mm. so many games. Um, Can I show you the painting I did? Show me, Ben. Show me. Main screen activate. Oh, I love that. CJ, so good at timing. Main screen, turn um, on. I think I did these last time I showed you. I've seen these before. Seen this this before. isn't new paint. So I decided to finish my Heresy Dark Angels. Yeah. And so, um, where is it? Here we go. We did these jump pack boys. Oh, very cool. I'm with got pistols. A needle pistol? Yeah, he has. Very cool. He's like an assassin boy who... He'd get you. Um, and then the thing I've been putting off ever since I bought the starter box set, I finally painted the big tank. Your a ATV. Um, that's still on the list. <laughs> but it's not part of this army because it's Primaris. It can't oh, go in a heresy right. army, Tom. Oh. One thing at a time. You know, I've got to finish this before I move on to finish that. Okay. But I did a big tank. This guy looks fucking rare. And I'm scared of doing big tanks because it's just all these big, large, flat panels that... It's a lot of tank. A lot of tank to... Uh... Especially when you're just painting it black. It's really hard to not make it either look like flat black or grey. Um, but I think you nailed it. You know? I'm quite happy. I think, it, I think it came out okay for like... An evening's work. Did the whole thing in one evening. Wow. That's pretty chuffed. Did yeah, get it that's done? really good. I'm not sure if I overdid the brown on the tracks. I like it. I imagine, you know, like, it really gets muddy. Gets, you know? gets all gunky. And it felt weird, like, splooging up here with mud, because obviously that door clamps down and it gets covered in mud. Yeah. But then that's also your chapter livery in the dirt. 
Oh, that's not so. Do they have a server tool to like wipe it every time it's shut? Yeah, yeah. Like, um, who's the fucking guy with his sword sword cleaning boy? Oh yeah, yeah. He's got like a little wipey server tool. Yeah, he? so I'm sure a land raider. He can have some little hatches where they just scuttle out of <laughs> and uh, have a go. Oh, and then they're doing the um, the checkerboard around this like irregular shaped panel was the worst. I did that three times before it worked. First time, I fucked it up, it folded over. Trying to do large transfers is hard, right? So I fucked it up. And then the second time, I spent ages on it, carefully carved it with the knife, got it to fit perfectly. And then as soon as I was like, I'm done, I oh. picked it up, oh. put my thumb in it like a fucking dickhead. <laughs> when I pulled my hand away, the transfer was stuck to my thumb. <laughs> Which was just infuriating. So that's why when I came to do the other side, um, you can't see it so much, but there's a chunk missing out of that one. And I was like, you know what? This is the fifth time I've done it's a transfer battle here. damage. So now it's just it's just that scraped off. It's fine. It's just scraped paint. You know I, I think that is totally fine. <laughs> um, yeah, it feels, feels for you. Um, as, yeah, I put a load, load of those checkable transfers on things and... It ain't easy. It ain't easy, man. It ain't easy. <laughs> but someone's got to do it, and it looks looks amazing. It's now done. done. So good. The so finisher has finished an army. It's 5,000 points of fucking Heresy Dark. You can believe that. Oh, great. Now you get to play really big, long games of it. Yes. You get to spend even more time in that game you love. <laughs> but I've got a no very nice shelf. That's good. Just quite happy. With. Then the friend of mine who I game with a lot, he really wants to get into um, uh, Lord of the Rings mm. miniatures game. And I thought maybe we could record some Lord of the Rings as well. So I was like, okay, teach me how. So um, I played a couple of tester games with him. And then we decided um, the game's actually really fun when you do the very specific scenarios. And it's not just 100 guys smashing into it. Yeah. Each. It's like... Shoving wars, yeah. as it used to, we used to call Which it. Which totally sucks. But when it's just like Aragorn has to fight off three ring wraiths at Weathertop without the hobbits dying, yeah, that's way more fun. Yeah, the scenarios. I remember the scenarios always being being a ton of ton of fun. So we um, we agreed we were going to do the. Um, do you remember in the extended Hobbit films, Gandalf and all the wizards turn up to fight like the spirit of Sauron, who's like come back to a dark ruined castle. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. They forms the Middle Earth Avengers. Exactly. And it's like Galadriel, Saruman, Gandalf, Radagast, and Elrond are just like, we're going to solo this castle, motherfuckers. Isn't there like another elf prince guy in there? Not in the movie. But in the miniatures. in Because isn't it based on a thing that happened in well, like yeah. the Silmarillion so or something? in the Hobbit book. Or is that book, the Fall of Westmark? There's a bit in um, the Hobbit book where Gandalf's like, uh, you guys go through Mirkwood, I've got better shit to do. Mm. I've got to find out what this necromancer shit's all about. And so the dwarves all get murdered and kidnapped in Mirkwood without him. And he goes off. And then in another book, like a, I think it's called Unfinished Tales or something like that, Tolkien explains that's why Gandalf wasn't in that bit of The Hobbit, because right. he was off finding out who the necromancer was. Okay. Spoiler alert, it's Sauron. What the heck? <laughs> God, you've got to give more warning. Um, so we're going to do that. We're going to do... Because um, that, that has hardly any troops, and it's just a few different special characters smashing into each other. Okay. So um, it's like I've got to paint like 30 models. And, and, and it will be like a 12-part campaign where each mission affects like the next one. Oh, that sounds really and cool. I think it'll be a really fun little narrative campaign that I'm actually really looking forward to. So I started nice. painting that. And um, here we go. I did all the spiders and the wargs first. Oh, they look amazing. Some of the orcs. And because I really, I'm all about finishing projects now, this is my first attempt at using contrast paints. And I think it actually came out pretty well. Like yeah, this, man. This, wow, I would not have been able to tell you. I think they look super cool. So this orc is a bit rough. He's my like, test orc. And because he's so zoomed in, it looks a bit gross. But from a distance, orcs done like this, they took like t five, ten minutes each. Man, I think... absolutely fine. For like a fun project like this, I think it's the perfect way to do it. Mm. And then like, look at that warg. It's like a, like a four-minute warg. Um, because I use this new method everyone's raving about called slap chop. Don't call it slap chop. It's basically pre-shading. It's, it's, what it's, really it's cool. been around for years. It has. God, that fucking thing. That one video has just gone so far. And everyone's like, either they hate the guy now or they love the guy. Like, mm. But it really works. If you want to paint something quick, I sprayed it gray. I dry brushed it white. 
and then I used brown contrast and black contrast paint. And then when that was dry, I gave it a very light cream, like bleach bone. Amazing. Dry brush. Man, it looks uh, real good. And it took minutes. Um, and I'm really happy with it, to be honest. Like I did, um, I did six orcs, ten spiders, and six wags in one, one like afternoon slash evening. Um, and it's so it, fucking it like it's nice. so much nicer to play with models like this. Mm. And they're actually done. Uh, man, I'm really really for it. That looks super super good. So we get, I've got basically like another like twelve orcs to paint, and then like the ring wraiths and Sauron. And I'll be like good to go. Amazing. Um, he's going to paint up his Middle Earth Avengers, and a few like Wood Elf Bowmen. Oh, okay. Um, and then um, then we'll battle through it. And I'll show you some, a couple of pictures of like the key moments in like a month when we actually finally play it. Oh, that sounds real nice. He's also going to because I've got way more models to paint than him. He agreed to paint like the ruined castle that they fight in. Okay, nice. So I was just like, yeah, you you you, you build the, and paint the mega castle. You do the terrain. I'll do all the wargs. Um, wow. Um, these aren't actually um, Games Workshop Middle Earth Spiders. Really? Because the, the box, you, I need six of each, right? So, um, and Games Workshop Big Spiders, they come with two little spiders, two big spiders, for 36 pounds. Ooh, hello. So I, I didn't want to spend 110 pounds on spiders that I would use for two missions. Yeah. <laughs> so I bought a box of War Games Atlantic Spiders. Oh, nice. Where you get 12 of each, so it's twice as much as I needed. For twenty-five pounds. What? <laughs> wow, those are really cool spider models. And I'll be honest, I think they're probably better than the Games Workshop ones. Yeah, the Games Workshop ones were not great. Uh, Plus, you get like twelve of these little um, boys wrapped up in web to like put on like bases or use as objectives and stuff. Super fucking cool. I might dangle some from trees and stuff. Oh, that sounds nice. Should we cool? Oh man, love it. Mm. So honestly, like, yeah, if you're getting spiders for, for any reason, do not buy Games Workshop ones. Buy the uh, the War Games Atlantic ones. They're amazing. Holy shit. Bit of a bugger to glue, I'll be honest. Um, every single leg is obviously a separate piece. <laughs> <laughs> but then everything else was like a one-piece model. Yeah. So it kind fair. of balanced out. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Man, fucking good job. So I've been a very good painting boy. Oh, well done. That's all the painting. Yeah. I'm excited. So I play a new game. Oh, fucking A. And to just have a shelf of Dark Angels. <laughs> that, yeah. Yeah, that you don't want to play the <laughs> game. Um, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, fucking A. Well done. Thank you. Well, that might be all the Warhammer we can talk about today, because I don't think there was any news this, uh, this week. Oh, really? This is all the Dark Angels-related Warhammer news, I think. Yeah, they don't tend to like do anything around Dark Angels these days. They get overlooked a lot. And so, yeah, I don't think we've got anything else Anything else going on. Um, no. Should we have a look at the seat, just see what else is going on? Maybe there's a new Black Library book out or something. Oh, maybe. Uh, here we go, Warhammer news. Um, oh, I watched um, you and Alex do What's New in Warhammer, and um, you guys were great. I really enjoyed it. But um, when you looked at this, you were talking about Farsight. I don't think you mentioned. He has new dice. Oh. And they have three colors on them, Tom, instead of two. Well, <laughs> technically, it'd be two colors. <laughs> True. Um, yeah, actually, pretty good. Although I'm, I'm really curious to see. I want to see them in person. Um, but this is exciting. You love like a multicolored dice, right? I really do. But there's something that just looks weird about that that dot. Yeah. That I almost wonder if it's like uh, printed on rather than molded on. Right, because it's so white. It's so there's white. There's no shading Normally you'd, at all. Normally you'd get like a little bit of shading. And uh, mm. if it is molded on, that would be enough to make me buy a set of these dice. Wow. Uh, okay. But if it's printed on, eh. Wow, okay, but good to know. Is there something a bit weird about the six having a single bright white dot on it? There's something <laughs> weird, yeah. I do feel like I've rolled a one when I've rolled that. It's a weird symbol to read. Like, I'm still heavily in the camp of, I like the symbol being on the one. But a lot of people are like, no, I want that to be the good thing. I want to feel happy when I see the symbol. Yeah. Uh, That's how I like it. 
Well, maybe you should give those dice to your opponent and you use their dice. Mm. And so when you roll their symbol, and you're like, yay! Like, <laughs> uh, it's like a good, good time. That makes sense. Uh, but yeah, so multicolored dice, always good. Always a big fan. One step away from the real boring dice I've been making recently, isn't it? Which have been so bland. Mm. Price, price hike and, uh, you know, less... Less dice and more boring. So maybe there's some hope here. If these sell well, maybe they'll do some more interesting designs. But it seems like they, all of their dice sell out. Like, uh, really, almost immediately. And so, so I don't they're, know why. They're learning no lessons. I don't know. I think they just can do whatever the fuck they want, and nerds will buy that shit. Uh, you know, I know I would if they make stupid dice. I'll buy every single set of them. But you know, I'm just a grumpy old whingy nerd. I don't know how many dice enthusiasts, pure, true connoisseurs of the oh yeah, I don't want to. There are in this world. I don't want to, uh, you know, gatekeep or anything. But other people are merely playing with their dice. <laughs> I'm a dice connoisseur. <laughs> uh, what I mean is, you're uh, one very extreme niche of the dice buying audience. Yeah, but I think like anyone with this army. Not anyone. I think a lot of people with this army would buy some dice. Yeah. You know, well, yeah, I mean, I bought the um, the Gene Stealer dice. Because, mm. and I don't buy the dice for every army I have, but I bought it for those because I loved the, the purple-white contrast. It's great. It also, really they've got a fun symbol. Mm. Um, mm. But yeah, it depends. Depends on how these come out. And then you can buy an art as well if you really want. Frame. God, if you're going to make a framed piece of art, you would have him looking like a fucking cool, badass mecha guy, wouldn't you? Rather than just face. I'd much rather have. It's a weird face. thing to have up on your wall. <laughs> yeah. It's like, you know, oh, this is my brother in law. He's currently serving fighting the orcs. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, mm. Sure. The first round of Gene Steeler Cult Dice were horrible. What? Are you an idiot? Did they do Those were the ones, ones with the uh, the translucent middles. Oh. They were so good. Yeah, but Tom, again, once again, you don't quite appreciate the level of connoisseur Tom is for dice. I'd forgotten about these, I'll be honest. Oh, these the, are the ones I, that I bought. Yeah, this picture. They're so oh, good. Oh, my God, they're horrible. <laughs> they're so good. No, you can barely read them. <laughs> they're so good. If, if they're not backlit, you've got no fucking hope, have you? <laughs> like, what is this? I love them. Oh, God. I love them. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, wow, they've done so many different King Steelers have the most dice, apparently. <laughs> They're amazing. Um, okay, I'll take you Once back. again, I feel I you know, should uh, specify. Oh, those are actually pretty pretty nice. Uh, Baron of Dice are uh, cool. Uh, Lewis for Christmas got me a uh, a set a set of theirs. Ooh. Very nice. Um, who would use them? Those dice. <laughs> these are these are special displaying dice. <laughs> Not for using. Not for using. Um, that implies you've opened the packet. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no, I do like to open the packet and have a little little play around with them. Um, but yeah, they're awful, awful to actually use. Like, I think well, that just makes you love them more for some. Yeah. Time. Yeah. <laughs> I think that just helps to add to them just being a bonkers object. Um, that, like, it just doesn't suit the purpose that it was made for. The <laughs> yeah. terrible design choices that went into it. So good. Um, so, so hot for that. Another thing you guys didn't spot is the Steel Legion are back. Hooray! Which is pretty cool, because they're some of, the, some of my favorite Imperial Guardsmen. But we've also got some bad news regarding the return of the Steel Legion. Uh, How much dragon they cost? That lot of stuff. Let's just call it fifty pounds for, for for two squads and a heavy weapons team. Oh no, that's cheaper than their regular stuff. Seventy-five pounds. <laughs> Let's find out. Um. <gasps> <laughs> 
<laughs> what? <laughs> what? Tom, you can buy three heavy bolters for the cheap, cheap price of sixty-seven pounds <laughs> fifty. What? <laughs> Oh, my God. If you wanted one, two, three squads and two heavy weapon teams, which if you bought them from like War Games Atlantic, would cost you about £50. Pounds. Um, plus, you know, six extra models. 331. This might be more than the Death Courts of Krieg used to cost in Forge World. Yeah. Which were already <laughs> ludicrously overpriced. Oh, Tom, like... I forgot to mention, though, this tactical squad, it comes with a grenade launcher. That's not very good, right? What, would you rather have a plasma gun yeah. than your tactical yeah. squad? Yeah. No problem. We got you covered back. We got your back, Jack. 19 pounds! 19 pounds for a plasma gun to go into your squad! That, Fuck my balls, that, that, is that is. one single guardsman model. This isn't a pack of five or anything like that. This is a single plasma gunner. I checked. Fuck me. <laughs> okay, like, just... Uh, Steel Legion STL. Oh. How much do you think they cost in Australia? Oh, my God. Like, Australia is, like, 50% more or double or something. <laughs> yeah. 50, 50 US... Uh, 50 Aussie bucks, probably? Maybe more? Okay, well, people have made... Some pretty nice STLs, man. Like, yeah, those actually look pretty good. Oh, I like. Oh, those they're well. cool. They're those almost like great. they're like half Steel Legion, half Talon Desert Raider. Man, those yeah. are great. Wow, they're very cool. Uh, they make a super rad. Oh, they look a bit like um the new California Republic. Oh or... yeah, they really do. Yeah. Wow, this is... man. Like we are not endorsed by. Games Workshop, and you know, you can probably fucking tell by now. Oh god, that's really nicely put together. That is beautiful. Like the hunkering down behind the bed, dead orc. And like, there is definitely some, like, there's a grey area with uh, 3D printing when stuff is like just so close. So close. But, but this in is turn, fucking absurd money. £40 for 10 guardsmen. And that isn't even the most expensive thing here. Fuck me. Well, you can see why. It's got three plasma gunners in it, Tom. That's why. Oh, that's, that's oh my God. That literally is it. <laughs> <laughs> 60 pounds for those three plasma guns. 52 Australian dollars. 52 Aussie bucks for one plasma boy. And he might just die on turn one when he shoots himself. Yeah. But like... like you can see... The people who are, they're, re they're releasing this for mega fans. Oh yeah, this is. And they know the mega fans will spend this money. I feel like the mega fans also know about like 3D printers and Etsy and eBay and places where you can just get other people. Even if you don't want to fuck around with 3D printing yourself, which I don't want to do. I don't have the space or the time yeah. to 3D print. Um, but I will. I will buy it off another website if someone wants to print it. Um. This is just bonkers. I mean, Games Workshop pricing is already bonkers. And this is... Wow. This is one step beyond. Wow, wow, wow. I mean, they're metal. But that might even be a downside these days. Yeah. Wow. Um... Yeah, there you go. I do feel like this is more than um, Death Cork. Do you remember like 10 years ago when Death Cork and Krieg were in Forge World and we were laughing at how much it would cost to make an Imperial Guard army out of Yeah, them? yeah. I feel like this is that kind of money. Oh, God, yeah, at least. Mm. Fucking eight. Well, there we go. That is wild. Absolutely wild. How much were they like a year ago before they took them off sale? Do you remember? Like, it was about a year ago they said, oh, we're not making these guys anymore. I feel like these scores must have been about £30. Yeah. I reckon they were probably in that area. Like, if you'd just gone and spent £1,000 on um, Steel Legion oh my God, yeah, a year ago. Oh, inflation on that. And then just resell them now. 
<laughs> right? Yeah. That's one hell of a return. Wow. Hmm. The basic squad was still on the shop. 20 pounds. 20 pounds. They've doubled in price in a year. But is it, you know, you know, the old craftsman, only two people left in the world knew how to make steel legion, one of them died. <laughs> so now they have to double the cost. Right. Because um, you can only make half as many. Can only make half as many. So. Mm. Yeah, well, each one is master crafted artisan, like piece of work you know that's why it's got the mold bubbles in it that's so you can why tell yeah. it's <laughs> so made. that stuff yeah very you know, authentic the very authentic mold lines across the top of the helmet you know to prove that it's uh just the worst wow. ouch i was just appalled and i had to share that, that with the world is fucking Bonkos. <laughs> Just wow. <sighs> okay. Okay. Man, I would kind of like to have a Steel Legion army, though. I would. I've always loved them, and I remember when they said, "Oh, what, you know, last last chance to buy them before we mm. put them away." I was like, "Oh, maybe I should buy some," and then I didn't. Um, and now I'm definitely not. Gonna yeah. Um. But yeah, like having like a little army with like, you know, God, you'd want like six or seven chimeras, each with a squad of guys in, uh, just pootling around. Mm -hmm. Maybe like a tank or two. Uh, be yeah, a really, could, really cool army. You could easily drop a grand on, on this if you were trying to fill out a whole army. Oh, fuck me. Yeah, like God, you buy two of those and then seven, seven or eight tanks. Mm. I mean, what, what do you think, like, the pounds per points ratio here is? God, fucking bad, <laughs> right? <laughs> like, what is this, 60, 70 points for a squad, right? Something like that. Uh, you're getting, like... Wait, but are the rocket launchers and plasma guns free now? They're all free, but the base price went up Fif a bit. 50, 60 points? If we say they're 60 70, points. 60 points. Um, divided by 40? Yes, it's what, one Oh, you get 1.5 points per pound. So if you wanted 2,000 points worth, hmm. you got to spend over a grand. Yikes. Mm. Oof. Oof. Feels, feels real bad. Feels fucking horrendous, man. Okay. Okay, well, there we go. Um, well, they did a lot of announcements at Adepticon, Tom. Lots of new Warhammer news. What I figured we'd do is we'd do all the stuff that isn't 40k related first. Oh, so nice. Yeah, let's start out with okay. the thing I'm going to be the most bored by. Mm -hmm. And then we'll work our way up. Okay. Get, oh, yeah. Excite me. Um, so we've got... Uh, I mean, I don't even play Horus Heresy anymore. But even I was disappointed that their, their only announcement for Horus Heresy was a big expensive book to cover a campaign no one cares about that doesn't involve any characters you've ever heard of and oh. ultimately didn't matter. Siege of Chthonia? Uh, why are they bringing um, the fucking squats in? <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Feels weird. Why are the squat? Because that's the squats. That's one of their units called like the Chthonian something the or other. Chthonian Berserkers. Because <laughs> they're from Chthonia. <laughs> yeah. Weird, right? So I don't know. I'm a, I'd be amazed if anyone cares about this. Uh, it's just, it's absolutely nothing. It's got no new models, no new, like, new units, no, um, not a battle anyone's heard of. None of the books cover it. It looks kind of thick as well, so that, that's easily a 30, 40 quid. Yeah. Very odd. When there's, when there's iconic battles sat right there waiting to, to be done, you know? Jeez, how small is that tank? Or how fucking big? Is that knight? Yeah, that like, scale's not right at all. Because that's a big, big tank. That's a Sakari. It's bigger than a Predator. Smaller than a land raider. Mm. Mm. Um, so, yeah. I guess a thumbs down from me. Uh, what else we got? Uh, oh, this is fun. We've got new kill team stuff. I think you'll like this, Tom. It's uh, Votans versus Beastmen. So the Votans are just an upgrade sprue. Sad face. Fucking knuckle dusters <laughs> looks amazing. I do enjoy Johnny knuckle dusters. A little, little 
Boom, infinity and beyond. <laughs> uh, one of those fucking rad. Yeah, I like their little, um, what are they called? Um, carabiners. Carabiners, yeah, that's fun. Because I reckon if you're a salvage crew, you're probably going to be yeah. getting into some spaceships. You're going to be like rappelling down corridors. Yeah, and clipping onto stuff. Like the wrong way around. Um, They've probably got magnet boots. Yeah. That's fun. Uh, I got some kind of Gatling laser with a, a fucking Gatling. It looks a bit like a smart gun type thing. I actually think this is the coolest upgrade sprue they've done. It is because everything actually looks like a like a cool thing they would use. Like it really makes everyone feel like a little character. Um, I, I'm really really into these guys. Like a uh, mustachio face man with. He's cool. I, yeah, I don't business. need all of them to have mega beards, mm. but I do want big walrus mustaches. <laughs> yeah. We got robot friend. Yeah, he's just doing the fucking book nerd shit. Man. Yeah. Oh, I, I relate to him. I like the robo robo friend. He's cool. And um, we've got this fucking maniac who's just like corridors. You say, let me bring my jetpack. He's. I like him. I like his flying hat. <laughs> uh, this fucking guy with his bandolier of grenades. <laughs> yeah. it's super cool. There's a lot of really cool stuff in in this set. I I think. Yeah. Actually, are real fun. They are cool, but I, I do really like the orange and black color scheme as well. I think it's it's very nice. These guys are fun. They've got way more character than the regular, yeah, regular Votans. But I think it could, in turn, be. I'm not super familiar with just like the regular sprues. Um, yeah, that's true. But we've just seen a bunch of guys holding their guns. Yeah, we? I haven't really uh, seen anything more dynamic than that. Yeah, I think these guys are think these guys are ace. And they're going to be fighting Beastmen. I love a Beastman. Um, and a Beastman with an auto pistol. <laughs> it's classic. S super fucking cool. And a Chevron chainsaw. This guy's right out of Rogue Trader, isn't he? Super good. Uh, yeah. Hey, good fun. So, I'm going to preface this. I, I really, really like these models. Mm hmm. But hmm. I wish they were a little more tech. Yes, that is my only complaint. Or, I like like the guy with the chainsaw, great. But everyone else, they could be like fantasy. They, Apart from the grenades, but like, they could. This could just be. Uh, this could be like a what's it called? The Underworlds gang, or it could be yeah. a Warcry gang, and someone has just put a few grenades on their belts. Exactly. Like, we need, like, a, a bionic arm. We need, like, some kind of weird sci-fi gun. Well, I, I kind of want to see some wearing, like, combat trousers. I want to mm. see one with, like, a smash, like, Cadian helmet. I want yeah. to see more, like, modern tech or future tech. Yeah, or just salvaged guard stuff as well. Things like that. Like, mm. you know... I like give one of them a flak jacket. Exactly you know, make their rags out of more recognizable mm -hmm. things because they they do look a bit just like a conversion to me. Yeah. Oh, look, we like got one, guy. one guy with a robo arm. Robo, robo arm. Guy. Um, I love this fucking dude. Oh, but glad. he just could be a war cry. Oh, a yeah. he's got a grenade. I know what you mean. It'd be nice to see a few more sci-fi elements like blended in better. Uh, oh, like gas mask guy. Yeah, more like that. I want every model to have a little bit of stuff. He's, he's got, got a strong arm. You could do a cool, um, you've got stuff to make like a good Blood Bowl team. You've got an extra arm here. <laughs> yeah. There's a guy with fucking claws. claws that's true. Hmm. Like they're, they're really cool, but I just want a bit more. Yeah, a I bit agree. More. Just a bit more 40K on them. Yeah. Because they're very, very Warhammer Fantasy. They're still cool. It's nice to see them back for all this time. Yeah, because uh, we've not had Beastman in 40k for a billion years. No, if you don't count the, the one Necromunda bounty hunter guy. So there was him. And then, oh, there was one. There was a squad of four in Blackstone Fortress. Yeah, so that was the last time that they were kind of in the game, uh, Blackstone Fortress, and I really like them. Mm. Mm. Cool. Got some escape pods, some medical bays. Uh, yeah. It's a fun little, you can make a nice little diorama set out of those. Yeah, I think that's like a fun, fun load of extra, extra bits. Mm. Um, oh, these like cryo tubes and one of them's just like. Ooh, oh God, Ooh. someone didn't close the door properly. <laughs> yeah. God, like. You like with your that, freezer when it ices up. <laughs> and you, 
you come in in the morning and you're like, why the fuck is the floor wet? And you're like, oh, fuck me, I left the f fucking thing open. Shit. Ugh. And like, oh, I guess Gary's dead. <laughs> yeah, in this, you come back like six months later because you've just been up on the bridge, just beep booping around. <laughs> yeah. like, why, is it, why is it so smelly down here? Oh, fuck. fuck. It's been a thousand years. Shit, Shit. a bed. <laughs> oh, fucking hell, Gary's dead. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's cool. Cool set. I like all those minis. Mm. It's very cool. good. Well that's done. That's a fun set. I like it. Um, we got some new lizard men's. I love a lizard man. We got a saurus on a on a cold one. Pretty cool. These guys are pretty rad. I like them a lot. I like I like this guy a lot. I like his big feather headdress. Yeah, he's cool. I like their saddles as well. I feel like the cells are a tiny bit high up. They're a little high up, but you know, these they're not horses, are they? You've got to like real squeeze in. Yeah, I guess you don't want spikes in the butt. Yeah. Not one bit. Uh, yeah, they're very cool. They're cool, they're big. They're real big. They barely fit on that big oval base. Um, and yeah, look, look ace. Mm. Very very cool. Yeah, I like these a lot. Um, oh man, I like just Look, he's got such a fucking good, like, clever girl face. He really does. Like, these dinos are really, really nice. I think they've yeah. absolutely nailed these. I love how they've stapled some feathers to their tail. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's fun. fun. Fun swooshing around. Yeah. Is he on, like, a bigger base? Yeah, he's so that's like, a the hero? much bigger base. And uh, so that guy's meant to be fucking enormous. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. Uh, he looks super good. Uh... Just, th I think they're nailing it with they these, are. Um, these I mean, lizards. I fucking love lizardmen. I love the armor he's got. I love his like sturdier throne, the little back totem. Uh, the one thing I do feel weird about mm -hmm. is right. So this guy, he's like there with his lizard man. He's like the war. The war bloods are here. Leaps onto his thing and he's like, wait, wait up, wait up, everybody. I just need to thread my tail through my seat. Oh, I hadn't thought it of that. Have to I just thought, like, oh, oh, it's, it's getting stuck. So I've got all these rings <laughs> on it. Uh, it's just, it's like just something that you should have most of the back open, right? With just a little like backrest. Yeah. At the top. You don't yeah, need yeah. a little hole for your tail. I hadn't even noticed. Uh, it's just a little, just a little thing that. Oh no, it is. It is open. Like the whole back's open. It's but shaded even, with. But he's still having to. You can do that in one swift motion as you mount up. He just like threads that Feels big weird. needle. Feels weird to me, man. <laughs> Feels weird. Do they all have that? No. No, they, oh, they don't open they don't, back. Right, they're they not allowed to lean back. They're not allowed to lean back. That's only for big balls. Well, why does he need a backrest? Because he's very important. And he's got the totem. Has to plug into something. Yeah, I guess it's just a thing. Just have it on his back. Mm. Uh, too. But still, very cool. Very nice. Yeah, there's lots of nice little details on these. I love them. But I don't love the Croxagore as much. A lot of people do, and that's fine. But personally, they don't look croco -y enough to me. And they're very tall. So there's two types. These they're heads. Fur the croco -y -er heads. Much cooler. Yeah, but they're still kind of taller than they are wide. Well, it's the proportions. They've got this yeah. sort of like Marvel superhero physique. Mm. Like, I... I want them to be like squatter. Well, let me show you the um, heavier one page Croxigor. This is like, I really like uh, these guys. Uh, so I'd say these are a fraction too Croco. Okay. Like, I still think they're fucking, fucking rad models. Uh, but I think like they nailed it with these heads. Mm hmm. And it's only minor differences. They've just got like bigger head crests, which make them look a bit more like other lizard man stuff. Yeah, that helps them fit in. And just a little croco, whereas these are like alligator alligator men. Yeah. Um, but it's those like those skinny waists on them. Yeah, just I think that's weird. What, it makes them look portions. sort of tall and thin, which is not things I think yeah. about with um, with croxagor. Hate these heads. They, yeah, I don't care for it. Um, they just look real, like, 
generic fantasy yeah, they like look, lizard boy. They look kind of like action figures. Yeah. I don't know, I can't quite put it into words. I think you're right. I think it's the proportions that put me off. They don't really have enough lizardman like bangles on them either. And they don't love the weapons. I don't know, they're just all off for me. Yeah. Yeah, every single part just doesn't really work. These are better. I much prefer the heads, and they've got more bangles and stuff. Yeah, I just wish they were... But they're still too live. Um, they're, oh, they're obviously better than the old ones. But I was hoping something more in this direction. I don't know. I kind of don't even really hate the last, the last edition ones. Look. There's been like four different versions of Croxagore. These are the latest like, ones, right? I think because of the trajectory, because the ones before these were terrible, were the worst ones. Yeah. Like the first ones they made, pretty good. I, uh, I just don't understand. Look, like this guy, he's great. He's from fairly modern. He's from Blood Bowl. He only came out like a year ago. And they had the, the Total War ones right there. Yeah. You know? I don't know. I just think it was a bit, bit weird. It yeah. Kind of reinvented I, the wheel here. I agree. It didn't need doing. I don't love it. Hmm. Can't win them all. No, that's right. I mean, these are basically the only th new Lizardmen I don't love. Uh, well, luckily, you've good. already found some minis that do that same job and are cooler. Well, that's true. I literally already have six of these painted. So, so. boom. Guess it's not a problem, is it? <laughs> problem solved. Um, there we go. Seraphon. I probably won't get that box because I already have 12 oh. of the old skinks on all gold ones. Yeah. But I'll probably buy some of the new Saurus when they come out because I don't have any Saurus. At the yeah, the new Saurus look very nice. Mm. Did we do a nip check? Oh, good point. Oh, they definitely have packs. They have pecs, but no nips. No nips. They do, as someone in chat just said, and I think I agree, they've got the same kind of problem with their face that the dragons have. Oh, it's got that Disney, Disney dragon style. heart. I can see, like, fucking Sean Connery voicing this guy or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, I know what you mean. Just, don't just, love it. Uh, yeah, not, not lizard. Too, too much man, not enough lizard. Uh, that guy always looked like he had a nip. Yeah, that's just a bit of sh careful shading. Maybe he's war painted on some nips. Ooh. Like, you know how like you, people can do contouring with their makeup? Right. Make their okay. cheekbones look like more pronounced? Yeah, yeah. I think that's what he's been doing. He's been like shading his pecs to like draw th You know like some of the extras in 300? Oh god, uh, what's his name? <laughs> the fucking Faramir. <laughs> yeah. Where like he didn't get a, a proper six pack, so he just literally like spray paint one on there. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> I think that's what he's done there. He's like, hey guys, I've got big pecs too. <laughs> hmm. uh, yeah, so lizards. Cool. Look forward to more lizards. Uh, did you know that um, Vashtor has nipples? Does he? You remembered his name, Tom. Vashtor. That's that's an improvement. Uh, I saw <laughs> saw like it was someone showing off like the unbuilt. Oh, was it under his armor? Uh, I don't I I don't want to just risky search just Vashtor nipples. <laughs> no. Because that's what about Vashtor really... sprue? Uh, can you see it on there? Here, here, Ben. Hmm. Zoom and enhance. Zoom and enhance. Uh, oh no, maybe that wasn't the there. picture. Which was the? It's there. Just that one. Uh, keep going. Huh? It's like every picture but that one. What the fuck? Uh, go back. Just right click it. Yeah. Nipple. <gasps> Bashtor's got nipples. The legends are true. So this demon, when he <laughs> came into being, he was like, I'm going to be a mech monster man. Definitely having nips. Yeah. Well, I guess because the way he looks is like an amalgamation of like the concept of him, right? 
because like powers in the warp are manifestations of like human belief. Mm -hmm. So when people think of like rage, they think of a like a red beast, and that's why corn and bloodthirsters kind of look that way, right? Mm -hmm. So when people think of like twisted dark science and hideous machines, nipples, nipples are hundred percent nipples. <laughs> Because what kind of machine is they thinking of here? Some kind of piston-powered... Milk maker. <laughs> Man milk. Man milk making machine. Maybe lube comes out. I don't know. Oh, maybe. And there's like maybe little oil. Engine lube. Robo minions come and suckle at his teats. <laughs> Look, it's chaos. Anything can fucking Anything happen. goes, man. Like Anything Infinite possibilities in chaos land. I saw someone do a meme that like just went, like zoomed right in on this and went... <laughs> Bashdor looks like he's just seen his own data sheet. <laughs> oh, feels bad. <laughs> yeah, because he's got a pretty bad data sheet. That's good. Fuck it out. That's a good joke. <laughs> uh, oof. Oh. Poor Bashdor. Poor old Bashdor. Well, don't worry about it. He may have bad rules, but, you know, it's only like three months till he gets new rules. Oh, uh, so. that's true. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, <laughs> fuck it. Just, just re-roll that shit. You know, like it's like getting a bad D and D character. Oh, uh, just like yeah, fuck it. We'll just make it heal. Look at re-roll. A blammo. Mm. Okay, hold up. Uh, right, what's up next? Uh, there's some new Aussie Arc Bone Reapers. You're very confused. Did they start an hour early? No. Welcome to the wonders of international. Daylight savings time. To us, even I, I didn't even <laughs> notice it this time. Yeah. I was like leaving. Our clocks went back on Sunday. Leaving work. I was like, fuck me. It's, man, it's, God, it's really getting lighter this time of year. <laughs> so I was like, it was fucking daylight savings. It's like, fuck, I was really tired yesterday as well. Like, <laughs> it's all falling into place. Oh my God, okay. Now, <laughs> now I understand what the fuck is going on. Yeah. Oh. But then... Um, like America's, I think, changes like two weeks after ours or something really confusing. So there's like this little gap where the world it's is dumb. confused. Just fucking get rid of it. Just get rid of it. It's, it's the worst. Um, okay, uh, you people. We got, we got this guy. I swear there's already a guy just like this, right? There's a couple. I kind of still not super into the Ossiarch Bone Reapers. No, me neither. Where are these bones coming from? They're really big bones. Uh, right? Bone tithe. And also, they're all bono monsters. <laughs> that's literally, I don't know if that's literally their name, but that's their thing. They, they should like, they sculpt oh. the bones, and everyone has to pay the bone tithe. Okay. Like, there's some kind of cool law. Yeah, I know? like the idea of the bone tithe, but I just feel like they should look like they're made of bones. Like the way the the shape and size of bones, not just melt the bones down into like generic bono paste mm -hmm. that they're then sculpt into whatever they want. Do you know what I mean? Like, they've got exoskeletons made out of endoskeletons. Yeah. The perfect world. <laughs> What's inside their bones? More bones? Do they have end... I think it's just bones all the way down, baby. Is it? That's why they need so many bones. <laughs> right. Are they just... They're not hollow, then, or anything. Like, they're... It, it's real fucking thick bones. It's a bone. All bone. Wow. Bones for days. Yeah. This is just so weird, because I... See, look. You can see. Look, he's take Look, this bone... Yeah. Uh-huh. Bono magics and turns it into this bone. Right. Okay. He's like a he's like a sculptor. He's like making a statue out of out of instead of out of stone, he's carving it out of bone. The cadaverous constructs that make up the Osiok Bone Reapers are designed and realized by the bone crafting Bonomancers. <laughs> wow, like there it is. Literally what it says. In black and white. Thing is, I am, I am a fucking easy lay for undead and skeletons and necromancy. Like any kind of new fantasy game comes out, I'm like, who are the fucking undead? Let yeah, me yeah. show it. me, show me the spooky, the spooky undeads. You know, I like, I like ghosts. I like zombies. I like skeletons. I like whatever it is. I'm there for it. But I do not give a shit about these guys. Do you know what I mean? Bonomancy. They look like masters of the universe rejects. I think. One of the problems I have is every single like uh, off-brand fantasy game, mm -hmm. they make an undead faction, mm -hmm. and almost all of them look like this. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Almost all of them are just big bone, bone reapers. Because they're like, well, we need to make a unique 
uh, undead thing. Can't just have skeletons. Can't just do skeletons. Mm -hmm. And it feels like everyone just fucking makes Ossiarch Bone Reapers. Yeah. Because they, they kind of look undead, but, yeah, but they're, they're not. different, and it's not just a skelly. Ugh. Tomb Kings died so these guys could live. Where, where. Fucking love Tomb Kings. Tomb Kings were great. Can't wait for them to come back. Hmm. Anyway, rant over. Uh, Here's, like, fawn vampire? Vampire fawn lady? Uh, I think this model is fucking amazing. I love the bats and the dress. I don't love the fawn legs. Um, well, I think the idea is she's the sister of Rad Rad Radagon. Oh, Rad right. Radagon, Mr. The, Curse City Man. Like, they've all got the fucking... They're all... Dog, dog They're all vampires. like were, were boys, aren't they? Uh, somehow, yeah. somehow attached, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, I think I if they had like an alternate, just gave her legs. I think I'd want to build my model like that. Mm. But man, like those bats look great. She yeah. looks great. Yeah. Like the vampire models that they've made recently have been pretty fucking good. Yeah. Almost really... all of them have been great and very different as well. Each one completely different vibe to the last while all fitting in the same theme yeah like I'm really into it I think they've absolutely like nailed this um, the weapon's a bit underwhelming I prefer that yeah, I actually, she's probably not a big weapon fighter she's got like magic and bats and I beast command right like that she just has this little hand axe mm. because fuck it that's like a real backup um, yeah she's sending the dogs right? yeah and uh, use the magic um, I don't need everyone to have a like 15 foot flaming double headed <laughs> like you know mega spear mm. like it being a bit more gothic and understated I mean yeah plus tactical branch instead of tactical rock little hand axe compare that to any fucking warhammer model <laughs> yeah, that that's is one of the small smallest axes I think you need to <laughs> familiarize yourself <laughs> with the subject there uh, <sighs> but yeah I'm, I'm down I really 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 rate it I think it, she looks fucking ace. Yeah, I'd love it if she had alternate legs, but... Yeah. That's the vibe they're going for. It's oh, good skelly shit, man. But yeah. I guess all the vampires are a bit more beasty, aren't they? Like, this guy's like a, a fucking bat centaur. Yeah. Which I kind of warmed up to. Um, hmm. This fell out and still, still hold up. Die wolves, whatever they are. They're really nice. The skellies are great. Uh, the new blood knights, whatever they're called, are pretty cool. Mm. Yeah, there's a lot of like great stuff in there. Boom. Get a look at the cities of Sigmar, boys. I'm kind of, I'm kind of into it. I love everything up to the neck. I all of these. They all have weird fucking faces and hats. Okay, right. You can shit on them. You can shit on these two, just not my beloved boy here. <laughs> <laughs> not this beloved boy. I hate the helmets and the faces, but the shields and weapons and armor are cool. Why do you hate me, man? <laughs> I'm fighting for Sigma. <laughs> it's an eye patch. I think I've got an eye patch as well, Ben. Oh, what a Why boy. do you hate me? Bye, man. It's a dumb hat. It's a real dumb hat. Oh, why am I here? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that? Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, uh, <laughs> I like that guy. I would go for a drink with this guy. He looks like battle. you would. He looks like every regular in a pub ever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, she's kind of going for a bit too much, and. God, they look like they are going to be stabbed in the fucking face by something. He just makes them, he gives them a real dad's army vibe. <laughs> yeah, but I'm kind, of, kind of into it. I don't is, that, is that their law? Are they like the rounded up militia of whoever the fuck's left? A bit like that. Well, I think they're just, you know, people are just gathered together and they're told, invade that way and build, build cities along the way. I just feel like... These would fit in like a Discworld novel. If they really look Discworld. <laughs> Do you know what Like I mean? super. That looks like a Discworld part, like group. 
like, you know, you're walking along and like the highway patrol turn up and be like, hello, 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 what's all this then? It's a very like guards, guards <laughs> yeah. type, type vibe. Maybe that's why I like it. Yeah. Uh, I think they're, I think they're cool. And I do like a silly hat. <laughs> and those hats are fucking dumb. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Fair enough. I'm kind of, kind of into it. Be interesting to see what the rest of the army's like. Yeah. Oh, do you know? Boop. Sigma. He's the best. Well, we won't find out till autumn. Uh, we got some more Underworlds. Uh, Wizard Man. It's quite fun. I kind, of, I'm kind of, I kind of like him, actually. I like him. I like his big popped collar. I like his metal face. I like his levitating rocks. Yeah, metal face is good. He's got uh, good BG vibes. Yeah. Uh, I think, like, ever since, like, seeing um, the Stormcast Eternals done in, like, the grimdark style, mm. I've warmed up to them a lot. Because I don't look at them in like the bright gold, yeah. spangly armor. You're immediately the, the imagining this in a different style. Yeah, in the super grimy, like just beaten iron mm. with sort of like. Like uh, Dark Souls type. Yeah, with like creams and browns for their robes. And mm. I think it just really, really like draws me in. I like him a lot. He's cool. This one I don't love as much, but it's fine. Okay, so he's flying around doing, doing magic stuff. Mm. Pew, and then. Pew. Um, Eh. He's the most boring. There's always, like, God, in all of these gangs, there's always just, like, someone I'm here who's, too. like, I'm here, but <laughs> in this pose. Yeah. Like, oh, great, God. <laughs> Thanks for turning it up. up. <laughs> I guess we need the third model. Yeah. And then they're going to be up against the best gang I've ever seen for Underworld. These guys are so fucking good. You want fish hands? We've got fish hands, baby. Boom. We have everything. I love uh, this guy. He's got all the arms. He's got the eyeball tentacles. I love it. God, his belly button is an eye. Oh, his eyes are in the wrong places. Uh, this guy's fucking awesome. His staff is a screamer. I think he's got tentacle feet as well, maybe. <laughs> Perfect. So fucking good. I love the idea this blinks and writhes and wriggles all the time. Well, I want it to fly off. Oh, wee! But it's just the, that whole thing is just Oh, it's like a perch. Yeah, yeah. Does, it, uh, does the whole stuff go with it, or does it land on the stuff? Uh, who knows? It's fucking zeet. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's got a mouth that the stuff's like in, and it can choose to let go or sure. uh, drag it off with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's nice that it's his mouth and like demon butt. <laughs> Well, I think, you know, it's an omni-orifice. Omni-orifice, okay. <laughs> sure. Very uh, versatile. Cl cloaca. <laughs> but a mega cloaca where you... Also a mouth. You, also a <laughs> mouth. <laughs> Demon sphincter. That's that's perfect. An omni -fist. That's <laughs> the word of the screen. <laughs> perfect. <Yeah>. An omni -fist. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Uh, Brilliant. He's got friends. He's got this beautiful little boy. Which I fucking love. He's amazing. Is one of the coolest <laughs> miniatures they have released in absolute years. I love uh, him. So fucking good. Also, they've got Sebulba with them. Yeah. is super cool too. Suburba. Uh, Suburba. <laughs> nice. <laughs> God, the puns are coming out fast. <laughs> Uh, it's just like I walk on my hands and I magic with my feet. Yeah. And my wings do not work. Yeah, yeah that's just a part <laughs> of uh, yeah. is, is great. So good. Uh, what do these guys do? Fucking wacky shit, I bet. Magic, Ben. Magic. Some kind of Zeechian magic. <laughs> yeah. uh, I love it. Super good. This guy's here too. Starfish boy. Amazing. <laughs> And like a horror spawn I, man. Man, I oh. kind of wish if they had have redone all of the new pink horrors in that sort of style. Oh, yeah, I'd be into that. I'd have been so much hotter. Like, I mm. don't like the current edition of pink horrors. Um, Jazz hands horrors. They're just not... Not wacky enough. Yeah. Whereas these, Actually they look horrible. super different to the other guys. Mm. I love the big vertical mouth. I've always, always been a bit... Had a soft spot for one of those. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, amazing. I love this gang. I want. They, I want it. Yeah, they are 
super duper cool. It's like a mini Gug. That's exactly what I love, the vertical, vertical mouth. Um, yeah, I, I think they're really, really nice. Yeah. Oh, I'm excited. Also, they just look like a ton of fun to paint as well. Mm. Like, you could do absolutely any anything. color scheme you wanted on this. Yeah. And would... You could use them as any kind of, like, horrible demon monsters for any kind of role-playing game or anything. Do you know what I mean? Like, although they're clearly Zinchen... Yeah. They're not really covered in iconography or anything. You could you could use them as yeah, all sorts all of like Cthulhu horrors or generic enough. Um, whatever you wanted, really. Yeah, I feel like as like a tester. Because imagine if all of the um, fucking Zangor mm. looked more like this, more twisted, more mm -hmm. like you know, wacky. Well, that's the nice thing about like being able to just doing a small gang of models. You can make them individual and wacky. Yeah. The problem is trying to come up with. You know, there's only room on the sprue for six or eight different sculpts, right? Yeah. So if you just want the same eight guys with the same, like, claw or... Yeah, I guess it doesn't work in the same, quite the same way. But. When, you, when you need, like, 30 of them or whatever. Mm. But yeah. They're cool. When they come out separately in their own box, I think I will grab them. Very nice. There's a new 40k coming, Tom. What? New 40k. Actually, should we wait? What? Let's, let's do it in order. Uh, before we get to new 40k, we've got, still got some old 40k to deal with. Do it. Hold, hold your horses. Daddy, daddy's back. He went to the shops for a pint of milk 10,000 years ago. I thought the kids just woke dad up. He was having a having a nap and he's fucking pissed. <laughs> yeah. I told you to stop making noise. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, Ty, Tywin Lannister in space. He literally is Tywin Lannister in space, and I don't care. I'm I'm here for it. I, when I first saw it, I was like, oh god, why is he old? I was not expecting it at all, and I didn't like it. But the more I see it, the more I warm up to it. Well, he's not been in stasis, right? Exactly. Bobby G. He's been literally frozen in time for 10,000 years. This guy's just been having a nap. So he's going to be a bit older. You know? He's like, um, uh, what's his name? In Jumanji. And he comes out of the jungle with a massive beard. And he's like, what year is it? Robin, Robin Williams. Robin, Robin Williams, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I think he's cool. I think he's he's very nice model. Mm. Um but I'm going to upset a lot of people here. <gasps> He's kind of just a big fucking space marine, isn't he? Yeah. Just the biggest space marine. Like... Well, what else can you do with him, honestly? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I I, I, I genuine, generally love him. Exactly. I just... Um, I prefer these heads. The helmeted head or the hooded head. Cooler. I don't love the big bunny ears head. The wings are too mind. big. I mind that. I've got a lot of Dark Angels with winged helmets. This one's too much. Also, do they, like, retract when he puts the hood up? Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They... I think occasionally the mechanism kind of breaks and his, and his hood goes... Boy, yo, yo, yo. <laughs> Come on out. Um, yeah. His, the watches are too big. They're, like, twice the size of the other watches in the dark, right? Boom. So I'm just keeping an answer. Claim Trooper is the only person who's understood what I meant uh, by saying Primarch demons can be fun. Mm -hmm. Regular Primarchs are just bigger Marines. Yeah, honestly, I don't know what. I mean, I know it would be nice if he was more but, exciting. But yeah, I don't I, know what. I don't know what that would do. be. In turn, I'm still at the camp of like I wish none of them ever returned. Yeah, me too. I don't. I don't want to see them mm -hmm. come back. Put them into 30k. Mm -hmm. Do your big Marine. Very cool. Um, have your your daddy there. I don't want them in 40k. It's much more I, fun when they're just like a myth. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, I prefer them as Arthurian legend. Yeah. Um, like, I don't mind, like, Mortarian turning up as this twisted demon monster. Very mm. cool. That model comes out. Very exciting. Mm. Uh, Magnus comes out. Let's see what he looks like. Very different. You know, they can do a lot of different things. But with the Loyalist, you're going to get very quickly diminishing returns on these guys. The Lehman Russ comes next, and he's basically the same but got like longer hair and yeah. some you know some skulls and bones hanging off of him and the he's got the emperor's talon yeah and like, a big wolf that follows him around i guess great yeah 
Like uh, that honestly sounds a bit more exciting. <laughs> he might, like he's because he's got a big wolf. I want to know what what's going on there. It's gonna be a big wolf. Yeah, but is he gonna have Frecky and Jerry back? Oh, Frecky and Jerry too. Electric Boogaloo. Electric Boogaloo. This time, Mecha Dogs. <laughs> or maybe they died while he was away. You know, it's like a, when a like if a very very young kid's pet dies, and sometimes the parents will just get by the same one, oh, pretend okay. it's the same. Russ comes back and he's like, "Where the fuck's my pets?" That makes sense. And like Bjorn is like, "Oh shit! Um, oh here they are. They, they, they de-aged somehow." Oh god. Okay. <laughs> One of them's a different color now because of chaos. Did it, Magnus the Red? It was Magnus the Red. You hate him. And just, <laughs> oh! he charges off. Um, <sighs> which they do a bird team of Corvus Corex. So that is one I would mm. like to see. Well, he's been lost in the Eye of Terror for 10,000 years. So now, he could totally have gone, got fucked up. Also, doesn't he than. already... He already had some, like, fucky magic shit going on. Mm -hmm. um, he that If he came back as Bird Demon... Yeah, Bird Monster. I would... I'd kind of be there for that. Yeah. Because you could still have him be Loyalist. Yeah. And, uh, but that would actually be an interesting... Because mm. then everyone is just like, we don't talk about the Bird Monster that's helping us. Yeah. Just, I know it's not cool, but let's, you know, cross that bridge when we come to it. <laughs> yeah, like I'd be, I'd be into that. Um, mm. Or if they made, uh, you know, Leland Russ comes back and he's a fucking twenty foot like Wolfen type thing, make mm. him a bit more feral. Do something a bit wackier with the model. Mm -hmm. It's just I've seen Space Marines before. They've <laughs> released a lot of them, and they've released ones with fancy armor, mm -hmm. and this one stands about half the size taller again than a regular one it doesn't excite me as much as a tiny little pink thing with five arms and flames <laughs> coming out of it fair. and an eyeball that's fair i i want to see something new or mm. uh, exciting yeah. until i don't and i only want to see a exact recreation of an old thing that i exactly <laughs> want it's yeah. a fickle mind it's fair that is entirely fair Bring first i still minus. think he's cool first man that's coming back would be cool He's I want him to come back as a ghost. A ghost with, like, hovering hands. <laughs> Wouldn't that be cool? That would be cool. Or they make a giant robot and his fucking spirit goes into it. Like, oh, imagine okay. That. Yeah, a big dreadnought, like, made up like a Primark. That'd be fun. Like, that'd be fucking rad, because you can mm. do something a bit different and make him enormous. Mm -hmm. um, and give him one of those long, like, snake-catching poles so he can go and Ooh. fucking... Take out your boy. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Get his revenge on Fulgrim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, well, there we go. The lion's back. He's kind of cool, but it's hard to really say much other than just, yeah, he's a big space marine. But yeah, I'd like, you know, of all the marines, he's a very nice model. Mm. I like that he's got the emperor's uh, little tilting shield thing. Yeah, I like that. I didn't recognize it at first, but it literally, look, if we go to like... Um, Emperor versus Horus artwork. It does look exactly like his little shield, doesn't it? Yeah, that that shield. Which is a nice touch. It's what happened? Did he like embiggen it? Or who knows, right? It's probably just like the one true ring. Like it's as big as it needs to be. Oh, okay, nice. I like that. Um I still gotta say, I think the fucking Watchers in the Dark are heresy. <laughs> well, they, they they are Xenos. We don't talk about it. They're big though, they're too big. They've okay. scaled them up. Because like a Watcher in the Dark is like smaller than a human. Yeah. But if you look at like the scale, like, I mean, really unhelpfully, they've not put them on the same level. Um, but this Watcher in the Dark comes up to the, above the belt of that, Intercessor, and that intercessor is like what thirty-eight mil high or something. So, all you're describing is bigger heresy to me. <laughs> I just don't see why he gets bigger watches in the dark. Just make them the same size as all the other watches. Well, in the he's dark. bigger. These are how these are probably the primarchs of the watches in the dark. These are Primaris watches. Primaris <laughs> watches. Yeah. <laughs> oh fuck. Um, fucking heresy. <laughs> wow, there we go. Wow, we'll I would out. not have said that that picture was that man. Was that guy. No. I'd be like, 
That's a different face. Has Rogel Dawn come back? That's what I imagine <laughs> Rogel Dawn to look like. They just look completely different to each that other. That is a different face, isn't it? Like, yeah. Different hairline as well. Hmm. Weird. But yeah, like, I, I won't lie. I'm kind of curious to see what they do with the lore. And just... I'm really interested because I, what they'd always said was he was asleep inside the rock and no one knew it because the Watchers had like scurried him away during the final battle. Um, but apparently not. Apparently there's something else that's going on because um, we'll skip ahead. What? To... Uh, is this it? So there's a new novel. He's been fucking around for a while and didn't tell anyone, apparently. Um, what? Where is it? There's a no, no, it's a different article. Uh, sorry, just got to flick through this. There's, uh, uh, which I literally just came out today, so I haven't oh. even read the whole thing because I saw it just as we were getting ready for this stream. It's fucking weird. Um, You're saying it's on his rules. Oh, it's on his rules page. Okay. So, um... Wait, is this sword a bird? Is that the Emperor's sword? Well, this is the symbol of the Dark Angels, so it's symbolic, isn't it? I mean, does, it um, does it fly away? That looks fucking annoying. <laughs> like, if you're in a Zeech army, yeah, sure, your fucking things might fly away from time to time, but so look at Space this. Marine. Long before his return reached the ears of the wider galaxy, the Lion's legend had begun to spread from planet to planet. Disconnected worlds unified by a mysterious figure who stalked from Mist Reef's passages to cut down fearsome monsters like Chaff. Some knew him as the cowled giant or the unforgiving knight, or even as the emperor incarnate. And his arrival has always been heralded by an apparition of ancient forests fading from the ether. So, like... I, so he's the green knight now? Yeah, he's the fucking green knight, apparently. It would have been nice if you'd, like, put some of these tidbits in... Before. Before. If he's been fucking green knighting around the galaxy for hundreds of years, could have dropped that, like, tease somewhere... Right, but is he? Is that like a astral projection? Is that like just a magic thing, or is that um, physically him doing? Well, it, it sounds like an astral projection because it says here the true nature is known only to the Primarch himself. Right, mystery box. Um, <laughs> but as he lay slumbering beneath the rock, his dreams turned to the forests of his youth. Could he be born by ghosts? Okay, so sure. He's not it's, telling. It sounds like it. He, it was. Magic dreams. Yeah, That's I think cool. he's dream walking around the galaxy, killing monsters. They, it feels like they could have teased that if they had any idea. If they'd thought about it for more than five minutes before they decided to release him. Yeah. Um. Because that would have been really cool if it had like, oh, this links into that thing they mentioned a year ago or something, you know? Because they've clearly been planning this for years. They could have really breadcrumbed it. Yeah. Then, then it wouldn't feel so fucking retconny and out of the blue. Is that what the Sanguinor is? Um, yeah, it's also kind of what the Legion of the Damned are and what Saint Celestine is. And there's a, it's a recurring theme in Warhammer. It's a way to have your character all over the galaxy <laughs> and endlessly dying. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, I like the, the sort of Green Knight style. I think that's sort of cool. I feel like that could have been a really fun unit. Like, that would be the kind of thing that would get me into Space Marines if you have a big spooky... Green Knight ghost guy and his fucking, mm. you know, Emerald Guard or whatever the fuck you want to call them. Yeah. And they teleport out of terrain pieces and make them a bit more... But they could have had that as a... You paint them up in, like, ethereal go Legion of the Dead kind of yeah. paint scheme. He's got a helmet on. He's got no iconography on him. They could have sold a cool-looking Green Knight model, had him around for a year or two... And then just go, boom, it's actually the lion. He's awake now. Yeah, yeah. Throw your ghost knight away. Yeah, throw <laughs> your ghost knight away. <laughs> or, like, he's still, that astral projection thing still happens. Yeah. You can still take that, just not in the same army as him. Bam. Boom. Like, that would have been fucking rad. Yep. That would have been great. Um, there was a hint in the Wolf Time book, you think? Really? The Wolf Time I, book. I would love to know. If anyone knows of any times they've dropped this. Stop. Wolf time. Boo, uh, doo, doo, doo. Boo, is that space wolf book? Yeah, I wouldn't have read that because that's like it's furry. basically furry. Ball. So there's um there's um some bad news about the lion. 
if you were hoping to pick up the lion as a fun new model to paint or yeah, add to your yeah, army, yeah, yeah, yeah. well, you can, but you're going to have to pay a little bit more because he comes with his own like bodyguard unit. You can't Sweet. buy the model on his own. That sounds ace, like a custom unit of special boys. Yeah, like those Emerald Guard you were talking about. Emerald Guard. Sweet, like you know, like um, in in Heresy, there's those really nice like Deathwing companion models. Oh yeah, that look fucking rad. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Right, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, no. The lion comes boxed with three regular vanilla boring blade guard veterans. Why? Who don't even get um, like the Dark Angels upgrade shoulder pad sprue or anything like that. Lame. <laughs> no, no alternate heads. No cool Dark Angels shields. It's the vanilla any marine chapter blade guard boys. Um, just so they can charge thirty pound more for him, I think. Oof. Um, feels bad. It does feels feel bad. bad. I mean, I guess in like a year's time, you'll be able to buy him on his own. Yeah. Because he got a milk. Yeah, he'll be available. You know, separately at some point. At some point. You know, just like obliterators aren't. <laughs> Venom crawlers. <laughs> Venom crawlers. <laughs> it only took like uh, four years for Chaos Knights to come out. <laughs> yeah. Right? Uh, so, um, you know, good news. If you want to buy some Blade Guard, there'll be a lot on eBay very soon. Yeah. <laughs> for real cheap. That's the, the positive spin here. Um, Lame. Don't worry. Disappointing. I mean, come on, just why he could have literally had a sprue in there that had some like heads, shields, or shoulder pads or something to make them like a cool unit. Then it would be an exciting add-on. It'd be like, sweet, I get the lion and a new unit. It feels yeah. You guys, you get a sprue that has special helmets that are all hooded and some shields and the shoulder pads. Fucking rad. Give them all special Dark Angel swords. I feel like you could fit mm -hmm. that on one sprue. Put yep. it in the box as well. Suddenly they cost. Bought another fucking ten pounds on for that sprint. Yeah, or they'll get some kind of like dark age pistol or something. Like, there's a million things you could do. But no, it feels mm. feel bad. It does feel bad. That's really like I was, I was being like, yeah, you know what? It's just one model. It'll be like thirty, forty pounds. That that'll be fun. I'll spend like a month or two painting it. That's a fun project. I'll yeah, do. like I could do a big centerpiece. And now, oh, it's going to cost twice as much and come with stuff I don't want or need. Wait, wait. Ugh. It's really taking the wind out of my sails, to be honest. It's a hatch. Mm. But I am, I am excited to learn a bit more about this new lore. It's more interesting than he was asleep, then he woke up, and, and then was the best, which is what I thought it was going to be. Yeah. So maybe, maybe some fun, fun new lore. Yeah, although since like uh, someone had pointed out that it's similar to the Sanguinor, it does take a bit of the wind out of the sails because I thought Sanguinor, that was, wasn't that rumored to be coming, coming out at some point? Oh, a new one. They probably will because they're doing Blood Angels in the new edition. Um, and like I actually liked the idea of big fucking angel, hmm. angel space marine of vengeance. Kind of rad, that but cool. suddenly now if there's just all the other guys coming out. It's going to be like the fucking Power Rangers. There's like Green Ghost Ranger, <laughs> Red Ghost Ranger, <laughs> fucking Iron Hands. They can have Black Ghost Ranger, and then they <laughs> yeah. Ultron together, and like... Eh. That's how the Emperor's made. And then that's how Emperor's made. Captain Planet. We're kind of mixing, we're mixing our kids' uh, like 90s TV shows, but I'm fine. I'm fine. <sighs> Uh, we'll have a quick look at his rules since we're here. He's just a fucking killer. That's all you need to know. Ten attacks. Ten attacks. Um, and you can choose to either do a sweep, in which case you get 20 attacks. Uh, wait, damage wait, why the fuck would I care about these rules, Ben? <laughs> why would I Why would I give a shit about these rules? <laughs> because get fucked, rules! We got new rules! And there's a new edition coming. <laughs> I, I'm not going to commit any brain power. Because know, right? that model is not going to be out. It'll be out for like a month before the new rules. It's fucking ridiculous. So like, I don't want to even waste that tiny bit of like RAM that I have. I know, right? Stop being excited for product. Get excited for new product. Yeah. It really does piss on the lion's bonfire a bit because as soon as you're like, yay, this is exciting, don't fucking worry about uh, it. No, his, his rules are gone. Because um, there's a new thing. 
Throw all your codexes away, guys. Sorry, World Eaters and Imperial Guard players. Oh, yeah, did you just buy a codex? <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Get fucked. There's new Warhammer now. And it's, it has totally killed my enthusiasm for playing any more ninth edition because like you say like i'm still learning ninth yeah edition. god it's so complicated the amount i was fucking hating learning the katars for <laughs> the custodies yeah. now just like fuck it i'm not gonna play any because Great. i don't need to know it they're gonna be gone it was a mechanic <laughs> yeah. i hated and i i cannot imagine they're ever gonna drag that over yeah and, uh, so why why bother doing it yeah i'm literally just not gonna play any now until this comes out because yeah. i'll learn the new thing i don't want to waste time learning the old thing exactly very fair in their defense, although it fucking sucks if you just bought a new codex and you're going to have to throw it away. Right, right. Well, not throw it away because it's still got stuff in it. But um, you're not going to be able to use it for its intended purpose. Um, they are at least giving away all the new rules for free. Which is at least, like, we can say a nice thing about GW. Hey, we've complimented some of their models today. That's true. Um, honestly, I think... They're not going to make you buy a new index book that they're like they did um, in 8th edition. That is amazing. If they can keep this up, mm -hmm. I'll be so, so into that. Because they do their, like, chapter approved, their points releases and stuff like that. They've been releasing those for free. If they ever get into a world where they have just, like, the core rules for, like, all of their armies up online mm -hmm. for free, like, man, I will... Yeah. I mean, I'll still buy... They're talking about how all the rules will be online for free, but then you can buy, like, a unit data card pack. If that's the case, I'll still I probably buy those. I would buy for the those, convenience of uh, just like having it all there. Like if they released uh, like a book for the army, but it was just filled with more like fluff and lore mm. and things like that. But I still had to get you know my uh, updates from the internet or whatever. I would do that. Mm. Like I'd be so hot for that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but, like, um, just like the Song of Ice and Fire did, you know? Like they did, like there are so many other games that just have this model now, where mm -hmm. they just do their updates online, all yeah. of the units and uh, information is online, so you can just start playing. So I hope, that's kind of what they're talking about. I hope they actually follow through with it, because I think C GW often say things and then don't do those things. I think see what happens. Hmm. But it sounds promising. We'll see. Uh, so new edition. There's a big tra There's like a like an animated trailer that like looks kind of cool. We can't really show the whole thing for copyright reasons. But it is a lot of like new model kills old model, then newer model kills even newer model, yeah. then the newest model comes and kills everything. Man, it's pretty cool, but God, the the animation in this thing is like not nearly as good as when they had the. Um, the Necron one. The Necron and Sister of Battle yeah, trailer. Yeah, that, that looked way better than this was one. was really good. Like, this feels like a bit of a fucking... Step back. Bit of a hack job. Um, well, it's so um, it's so dark and it's so uh, hyper close-up. And real shaky cam. Yeah, those three things together means that they've cut a lot of corners here to try and, like, make it work. Yeah. They saw... Um, uh, parts of this where people had like stabilized all the footage oh interesting and it, did that make everything look floaty it shit? makes it really makes the the animations look super rough oh wow so do you think they added the shaky cam to cover up the... uh, yeah i think yeah you just do that just to like fix some fix some mm. problems there's, uh, there's one bit i fucking love coming up is it when it's when the naughty tyranids are caught eating something they shouldn't oh that's like a great scene um, just oh yeah, it just so like I've seen that face on my dog so many times. Uh, have I already missed it? Here they oh, are. Here. Whoop. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> like, have you ever seen your cat or your dog? Yeah. It's got into people food. You catch it, and it's like, oh no! <laughs> uh, freeze. <laughs> um. Man, although I think my favorite part mm. is. I think it's coming up. Blam, blam, blam. Shoot that boy. Chopped in half. Uh, is it when the Psyker? Here. God, oh, those guys look throat. so good. Yeah. Like the Mega Zone Throat, whoever that guy is. Like You don't really get a great look at him, but he does look... God, like... He could be pretty cool. Just seeing them animated a bit like that makes them feel like they're fucking, like, eldritch horrors. Mm. I'm really warmed up to it. Like, I kind of... 
I'm excited to see what those new models look like. Kind of like the idea of having a uh, floaty psychic bugs. And uh, dead. They all died. Maybe you should have been there, Glimmon. Yeah, so just Did you think about that. Oh, and look at grain <laughs> tax imports. <laughs> like, uh, uh, yeah, you know, I like I like the idea of Tyranids. Tyranids cool. Uh, also, mm. uh, like you know, as weird hanger honors, mm -hmm. suddenly gene sealer cults pretty cool in this edition as well. Because if Tyranids are the main like one of the main antagonists. Mm -hmm. That means Gene Stealer cults all over the galaxy are kind of having a bit having of fun. Having a good as well. time too, that's true. Uh so good for maybe that. Maybe they get brought up in the wake a little bit and they get like a fun fun update. Maybe. I mean new Gene Stealer models at least. Oh uh, yeah, well that to be honest, that's all they really need. Mm. Um I'd be be into that. Um so well, Next we might up. need to have a little break. Oh, you're right. It is break time. Break time. Mm. And uh, then uh, we'll be going through the minis and stuff like that. And reading your very lovely messages. Uh, so we'll be back very soon. Um, hold on to your butts. Somebody's going to be talking about more Warhammies, because it turns out there's a fucking lot of news. There's a lot of news. Um, we'll see you soon. You are a natural at this. Ban ba ba ban. Tom to Tom. Ban ba ba ban. Tom to Tom. Tom Tom. Ban ba ba ban. Tom to Tom. Ban ba ban. Bam, 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 bam. Bom, bom, bom. Welcome. Oh, how you doing? I'm good. Me too. Good. It's new Warhammer, Ben. New Warhammer. What do you think about new Warhammer? You know. I hope it solves all my problems. Um, because I have problems with 9th edition Warhammer, Tom. Mm. It started out great. It did start good, didn't it? It started at 8th edition, when they did a big reset. It started out very promising. And 9th edition felt like it then fixed a lot of the problems with 8th edition. Mm -hmm. And then it just went fucking off the rails real quick. And got and, and just real fucking busy. <laughs> real busy. Just an absolute nightmare to keep all the overlapping special rules in your head at once. And all the constant updates and changes. Yeah. It became an absolute logistical nightmare. Yeah. Um, so, I really, fingers crossed, really fingers crossed, a lot of the things they've said in this announcement for the new edition sound very promising and like things I would want. What's, but, the, what's the thing they keep saying? It's simple, not... Simplified, simplified. not simple. Uh -huh. Which is key, because in my opinion, 9th edition 40k is incredibly complex with no depth at all. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, it's as broad as a lake and as deep as a puddle. Oh my god, yeah. Just a, just a red hot mess. And I'd much rather it be the other way around. And so... So if they're going to do that, if they're going to make it simplify those ridiculous overlapping rules while also adding some like depth to the game, that would be fucking ideal. Genuinely curious, but... But I've been, oh, I've been burned so many times, Tom. They've lied to me so it's many times. Kind of classic, classic G Dubs. They announce something, mm -hmm. you know, get a bit of hype. Mm -hmm. You're like, they can't do it again. Mm. It won't happen again. Not this time. Uh, and then, and they are also chatting about like. Oh, all these things that are wrong with the old edition. Oh, look at all these things. Like, like they didn't fucking make it. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um. Yeah. Oh, it's hard to believe. It's hard to trust again. Tom. So hard to, after you've been burnt so many times. Hmm. 
We'll fucking see, won't we? Um, but look, hmm. Terminators, Ben. Terminators, uh, they're back. Look at them go. I, I'm kind of torn about what to say about Terminators because I fucking love the classic Terminator designs. So on one hand, I'm very glad they didn't fuck it up mm -hmm. because it's a, fuck, it's an amazing iconic look that I love. But on the other hand, all they've done is made them taller. And I don't really want to buy a whole bunch of new models that are slightly taller than the old yeah. ones. Yeah. So while I like these designs, I'm not going to buy them. Because I've already got Terminators. Do you know what I mean? No, I do. I do. Um, here's another weird thing, though. These aren't Primaris Terminators. Well... Uh, so, both Primaris and Little Men yes. can both become Terminators. Yeah, it's a one-size-fits-both situation. I think little little boys, old boys, mm -hmm. have little lifts in their shoes or something. <laughs> yeah, I mean, do they get stretched out or what? Like, how does that possibly work when one... How can one suit of rigid armor fit someone a height range of, like... Eight foot to ten foot. How does that work? I think it's like a plant pot. You know, mm. it grows to fill the size. Oh, okay. So you get really ugh, squished <laughs> in. It's weird, but sure. Why not? I mean, I do want the the lines between Firstborn and Primaris. I want them blurred. I don't like the segregation. You know? So, fine. Anything that... I just don't like the Primaris law at all. I just wish they went, you know what, we've made new Marines and they're the, worried, they're the size they should be. We've made bigger, taller Marines. Yeah. yeah. Well, it would have been much better than... Yeah. Well. Yeah. But yeah, sure. Bigger Terminators, kind of cool. They look mm. like Terminators. They do. I like how they've... Um, you don't have to draw your bolt guns anymore. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, because now they could do slightly finer detail. Mm. Like, stop having to worry about that. Do they have a comparison? Because that's kind of eye popping. Um, someone's done it. Oh, yeah, Auspex Tactics did it. Wah. Wah. Uh, there's a really, like, they were a lot bigger than I thought they were once he, like, lined them up. Uh, which I have to admit kind of put me off a bit. Because they look, I don't, I can't have these and my old ones in the same army. It's too big a difference. Oh. Uh. Like, I mean, it's better proportioned. Yeah. It's a like better miniature. But you can't have these stood next to each other on the battlefield. No. No, it's, he's got his younger brother there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Um, so there we go. Oh. Really? Fuck we off. We just fucking had one. We literally just fucking had one. Um, there you go. I wish Games Workshop would have done this on their website. But there we go. It's a really nice sculpt, especially like compared to the old one. Yeah, Big yeah, yeah. Do look, do look better. Better proportioned. Feels like someone might actually be able to fit in there and be a, still be a human. <laughs> yeah, not get like physically ripped apart. Oh, that's that's a chunky boy. <laughs> that artwork, bloody hell. That's cool. Don't like him with the blue helmet. No, you need the white helmet on. Yeah, because it's part of the look. It doesn't work at all. So there we go. Pow. Um, new termigans. What do you Everything new is a termi. Um, <laughs> Double termies. I think they look fucking rad. Uh, I'm into it. Yeah, they they are way better. It's still the same design, just more detail, better proportions, less just, doughy. Yeah, a lot less doughy. Um, I I think they they look cool. I I'm into it. They're on bigger bases. Those are twenty eights. <sighs> Why? Because everything's on twenty eights now. Imperial Guard on 28s, Eldar Guardians. And after long enough, once they've gone through every range, there won't be any 20s, I don't think. 
Well, it's 25, right? 25, sorry, yeah. 25 is will stop existing. I don't know, I don't know why. Bigger is better. You, you got to buy new ones if they're bigger. You have to b buy new bases for all your models, God. <laughs> like, it's fucking dumb. Mm -hmm. uh, just seems unnecessary. It is. I don't like it. Because then, suddenly, now the Marines aren't the right scale anymore. Yeah, because now everything else has gotten bigger. Exactly. And then we're going to have to do fucking Mega Primaris. Yeah, a Mega Primaris. And, like, very soon, I really think that you just need to buy a load of those fucking McFarland Space Marines. <laughs> Put them in a cupboard. Because yeah. in 20 years' time, every Marine is going to be this tall. <laughs> yeah. uh, the scale creep is nuts. Uh, but yeah, I like I like the the Termagants. I'm genuinely yeah. I'm, I'm pretty hyped for the new Tyranids. They are long overdue a full range refresh, aren't they? So there's going to be a lot of new Tyranids. I think. I imagine not much of the old stuff will stay. To be honest, uh, I want them to keep the old the the biovores. Are they one of the oldest ones? Well, they're in the trailer, so they're probably getting new models. Wow. I want them to just be like, fuck you. A bit like, you know, you still have that Skaven warp fire. <laughs> yeah. I'm never leaving. I'm staying forever. <laughs> you can't make me leave. And just keep that guy around. I've got squatters rights. Andy <laughs> Chambers signed the document. Yeah, yeah. Like just some weird rule that means <laughs> they have to stick around. Because yeah. um, those models are fucking hideous. <laughs> and kind of, kind of like that. Yeah, like the cat gems. Mm. Uh, you know, oh god, yeah, they still sell those. They're still there. I just look awful. Like, <laughs> yeah. I kind of like it. It's kind of funny that uh, every now and again. What about the pyrovores? Pyrovores, great. Um. <laughs> so dumb. It's not pretty, is it? I kind of like the way they're like an ape. Well, they're orcs, right? Yeah. Oh, someone's like converted their own out of like tuned warrior parts. Oh, that's pretty good, actually. That really works. Like the Pyrovore doesn't actually look terrible. That's the red one, the red and black one there. Oh, yeah. There we go. Um, they're, they're in fine cast, I think. Ooh. These are some of Alex's favorite units. They are, yeah. We did a video with him. We played an apocalypse game, and he brought out his unit of three bio Pyrovores. They were shit. <laughs> yeah, he always used to take them in 40k. Because for a long time, they were fucking awful. And then one edition, they made them just... Just amazing. Fucking amazing. Just did a big switcheroo. <laughs> and then he wasn't as into them, because I think he liked them for the, the meme just of... Just being the shittest thing in the game. <laughs> this just hot trash unit. This veiny, pulsating gusher. Yeah, I, I'm kind of into it. <laughs> oh... So yeah, the game. Complete overhaul. I mean, this feels too soon to do an overhaul because they only just did one in the eighth. But the game has spiraled out of control. Radically. Yeah. So it is, it is, it is too soon, but it is also needed. Um, which just fucking sucks for Imperial Guard and World Eaters in particular. Who literally, yeah. You might have only played like two games with your World Eaters book yeah, before geez. the edition ends and then you no use anymore. I got that Imperial Guard book for my small Imperial Guard army. I will never use it now. Yeah, That's I, got, it. I picked up a copy too. So I've got some tanks. Yeah. <laughs> Literally didn't get to play it once. Oh, Sad. Wow. You heard the board is getting smaller again. <gasps> no way. It's already minuscule for the amount of models and points you have on the table. Okay, right. Prediction now in like... How long does it take them to do a new edition? Two years? Three? Maybe? Three years. Okay, in six years' time. Yeah. It's going to be well, when we're in 12th edition. <laughs> right. 12th edition is going to be a, like a 12 inch board. <laughs> yeah. With big action you figures. You have one action figure each, and it's just like a <laughs> fucking WWF match. Cage match. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's how it's going to work. Uh, oh, my God. But you'll still be able to take planes. Yes, and super heavy tanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what will happen is you can bring on one model at a time, and when it dies, you can bring on your next model. Oh, okay, nice, like Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, Great. exactly. Okay. <laughs> so you still need all the models, because when a model dies, you can't bring it back on. It needs no. to be a new model. Mm. <laughs> That's great. 
Oh dear. Wow. <laughs> um, but we've got new new stats. I mean, basically, there, there's only one new stat. Everything else has just moved. Um, but they're saying every unit's going to have a, one special rule. And then that'll be it. It won't have like a stratagem or an overlapping ability with another unit or anything like that. Which sounds cool. Sounds, sounds cool. Apparently, all of your army's special rules will fit on one double page spread. Which sounds cool. How many codexes in are we going to get before that rule gets broken? Oh, three. Yeah. Look, on codex number three or codex. after three on number oh. four? I think the first three are probably like already locked down. I think it'll be like four, four or five. No, because you'll get a Marine one and a Tyranid one, and yep. then the third one is going to start fucking with our system. <laughs> <laughs> That's when they first start spilling over and you need yeah, your third page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think you're probably right. All right. I'll say four, and you say three, and we'll see. Okay. <laughs> no, should I say five to make it more interesting? Uh, Place your bets. But yeah, we'll see. Look, I've got... I wouldn't even say high hopes. I am intrigued, but hmm. until it comes out, I don't think there's any point of kind of like getting too, too in either direction. Yeah, that's true. Because who the fuck knows at this point? Yeah. I want it to be good. I finally want to enjoy a version of 40k. But I have so little faith that I don't dare believe. Yeah. Um, this is intriguing. Combat Patrol. So I think this is the part that I'm the most excited about. Yeah? Uh, well, no, I'm, I like the idea of like a big overhaul of the rules and the mm -hmm. simplifying stuff. Like All of that stuff sounds amazing. But this, you know, take a border patrol or whatever it's called, combat yeah. patrol. The idea is you buy that box and then that's your army and it has a set, set of rules and it should be balanced to play against any other combat patrol box and you don't add any new models to it at all. Which uh, I think is a genius marketing scheme. Yeah, marketing-wise, it's great, because now all, you just need to buy one box of any faction. Every faction's got one. So you whatever these cost, 80 pounds, I can't remember. That's it. You can play Warhammer for that investment. Makes sense. Really easy to sell in the shop. Marketing-wise, yeah. good move. Yeah. But, like, they're going to have to come up with some pretty wacky special rules to make this anywhere near a balanced game, right? Yeah. Like... You know, the guard. Yeah. Versus the uh, the custodies is quite an extreme one. Are they not even on there? Not even on there. So, oh, maybe that's a clue. Oh, they're they're not part of this system. Getting because that custodies box is a lot of points. Yeah. Of or, points. but I'm pretty sure there are some other. Oh, maybe they maybe all the other ones are here. Maybe the Custody one's really new? No, it's not that new. It came out like last year. Hmm. Uh, and so this is meant to be like a simplified version of the game. Mm -hmm. It's not going to have all of the... Mm -hmm. Every army's army rules and things like that. Like, this sounds like a kind of fun... Fun entry level that's not going to take three hours to play. Uh, and <laughs> if, like, each of these sets ends up playing a bit like, you know... Uh, you know, like a pre-made magic deck. Mm. Where you're like, okay, right, these, uh, you know, the Necrons, well, they've got a flyer, so they're going to play massively different to, mm. you know, someone else like, oh, the Grey Knights. Uh, Grey Knights, they're the only ones who have, like, a mega big fucking kill bot. Mm. Um, yeah, but, but, like, they're going to have to give these guys different rules in this game, because, like, this Imperial Guard box, it's, like, two squads, two heavy weapons, and a command squad. It's only about 300 points worth of models. Yeah, so I think it's about, like, 350 points or something. Whereas, um, like, the Thousand Sun box, or the, the, obviously, the Custodes box, or any of the Space Marine boxes, they're, like, five, 600 points. Yeah. But maybe they will let you bring the units back. Maybe they will... Uh, yeah, there's a lot of rules they could add to like try and balance it up. Or, like, you know, the guard, they get a preliminary bombardment or something. Like, they mm. For this, they might have just some other special rules. Who knows? Yeah. Uh, but, like, if this was cool, I could genuinely see myself going to, like, a tournament that was just these. Mm. 
like turn up and play like you know you just need one of these forces and you're only ever going to be fighting against these armies yeah and a game will probably take 45 minutes yeah and it feels like a, a fun enough excuse to kind of like dip in and start mm. one of these forces it could be really cool based on what they've told us but again the devil's going to be in the detail exactly because it? it could turn out to be super amazing or mm. super basic or completely imbalanced yeah there, there's a very high risk of it being too simple to be fun or yeah. so imbalanced that it's not fun so once again mm. tentative expectations uh but yeah i think like already there's like three or four of these that i'd be like man i would i'd pick that up i'd play that mm. uh i kind of like the death guard one it's 30 zombies, 7 plague marines, and typhus. Which is cool, man. <laughs> I'd love to paint. That's paint a cool vibe. Um, that seems great. Uh, I really, really like the the corn demon one. Mm. I think partly because that would be a fast army to paint, but mm. in a short little game like this, I feel like that's your stupid red aggro deck. The yeah, game it's... is over on turn two. Yeah, I, I charge in. and like Turn one, you shoot me. Turn two, I charge you. And it's just 10 hounds, three of the blood crushers, and then like mm. 10 or 20 blood letters. Uh, mm, and nice you've got mix. like a, a herald. And it's like, great, you have mm. some fast things, some heavy fast things, and some troops. Mm -hmm. Just everything runs, roll some dice, everything's dead. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you won. Uh, Let's find out. That feels kind of jokes. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I could already do the, the Gene Stealer one. Oh, nearly. I don't have the grinder, actually, on my truck. Oh, uh, but you already have a truck, like, oh, fuck it, I'd let you, cancer has. I'd let you. Yeah, tournament wouldn't know, would they? <laughs> yeah, again, promising, but we will see, I suppose. It's a big, we will see. Big, big if. Hmm. Uh, new Terminators. We already had a big look at those. Oh, they did have the. Oh, they did do the. Oh, okay. My bad. Oh, there you go. They did do it. Um, what else have we got? Termigants. They're definitely bulkier, but just look so much better. They just look better. I don't love like the pinkish paint job. I kind of like it. Sort of fleshy. I like how that gun looks a bit like, ooh, a bit sore. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, the exposed nozzle getting uh, a bit worn out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I think they look, look pretty rad. Uh, boop. Uh, the trailer. Is there anything? I think we missed anything cool. Uh, none of our questions answered in the uh, in this little article. What? You so see, all your burning questions on the new edition answered, and it really doesn't doesn't answer any in the middle. Um, it's fine. How are the combat patrols balanced? Trust us, they are. Is basically the answer. Okay. <laughs> um, Wait, what's that? Will my collection of codexes be compatible? Your miniatures aren't going anywhere! <laughs> and we'll have plenty more to say what codexes will look like early next week. Okay. So basically, yeah, your codexes are... Now well, they don't answer that properly. No, they don't. This is what I mean. None of these questions they are actually answered. They just need to say answered. no. Yes. Just, just that's just all I Just say no. Because apparently there's still parts of the website that say, buy the codexes now. Oh. And like... You know, the entry-level website takes you straight to buy Codex's page, even though they are all going to go in the bin in, like, three months' time. That is not clear. Shame on you. Just say, you can't use your books, but your replacement rules will be free. That, that's all I want. That's all I'd want. Just say it. Uh, there we go. Okay. Doesn't say when it's out. Doesn't say. Doesn't say. None of those questions get answered, basically. So don't worry about it. Uh, we looked at this. Boop. Uh, there's a new blood ball. Look at that guy. This guy. He's kind of cool. 
What's he got there? Is he eating something? Or is that just his tentacle turning into more tentacles? Just a big old tentacle ball, isn't it? He got them in a knot. Oh, oh no, that would be the worst, wouldn't it? If you got your tentacles, like, all tangled up. Yeah. But yeah, mm. he's... He's fun? You a big noble boy? Kind of, kind of cool. Again, the artwork, cooler than the model. Yeah, it doesn't quite deliver. He's all, he's all right. He's all right. He's okay. Uh, simplified, not simple. Right. Okay. Uh, Golden Demon winners. This was apparently the best painted model. Very nicely painted. It, yeah, of course. It's much better painted than anything I could do, but it doesn't wow me. So, but then I guess I'm not a good judge of what is good painting either. Yeah. I don't know what to look for that is technically very difficult or anything like that. Um, but I don't know. I was just Normally the Golden Demon winner is something that with a bit of pizzazz to it. Yeah. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, what's this? He's cool. Wasn't that on the... the cover of one of the old orc codexes or something or was that a bit of artwork yeah this this is definitely from artwork he's cool do you think he's sculpted the muzzle flares and rockets himself or did he buy them from a third party website he better fucking not have done because that's breaking the rules tom someone would someone would be able to work that out it looks great there i love it this is way more fun than the than the dark angel yeah i wouldn't say that it's necessarily Better painted though the other one. No. I mean, it's got a bit of light sourcing. That's nice, you know. Which, which is weird because like this guy, I think maybe he was gonna do light sourcing. And it was like, oof. And then he was like, oh god, I've got to hit the deadline, right? Blew some smoke on. I'm not doing <laughs> light Stop, sourcing. Also, <laughs> yeah. mm. oh, I think I'm just not a fan of non-metallic metals. I know it's hard to do, and it's impressive he's done it, but I just, I just don't think it looks great. Uh, That's just personal taste for me. Yeah, it's not my like. Preferred, preferred style. Excuse me. I guess I'm more excited when they do like some modeling. Yeah, I think that helps to elevate something beyond just Space Marine. Painted good. Uh, he's cool. People stood on ship. Hmm. Uh, I don't look at that. Maybe there's some fun details. Mm. No. I like a little diorama, though. Well, that's, that's very well painted. It's hard to do these big flat panels. But yeah, like but got some nice, got some nice good, shade. Got some good fades going nice on. Shade in there. Like, look at that. <laughs> got the got the checkerboard. They got all the. Oh man, the shading's beautiful on this. All the freehand. Impressive. I like that a lot. I don't normally like this model, but because he's posed it. Yeah, it looks it looks more dynamic. Yeah, because normally it's just stood there going. Yeah, it's just a big block of a block of a monster. That looks way better. Oh, Penitent Engine. It's classic. Classic version. Mm. He's Best large model? Am I missing something here? Okay, oh, he's done a lot of detail. Like coconut crab. Done the spots. That sort of vibe. Let's go down. Like, look, you can see the, like, ugh. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good, actually. Oh, God, yeah, you need to zoom in on this one to actually see what why Eggs it's good. going in. Oh, gross. yeah, that's real, <laughs> real gross. Ugh. Yeah, okay, this is better than I thought it was now I've zoomed in. He's good. Nice. Oh, he looks fun. It's just a guy on a fly. Yeah, I like those big Nurgle bloat flies, so they're cool. Got some piggybacky Nurglings. Uh, oh, look at that guy. It's the the dude. Yeah, the Slanishy boy. The Lord of Decadence, or whatever his name is. This is way better than that Dark Angel. Should be fatter. 
He should be. He's not as decadent as he could be. This feels like it's better painted, but again, I'm just not a good judge, I suppose. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, that's great. Kind of cool. It's a, a Kragnos. Of course, Kragnos is going to be the best, best large model. He's the best in everything. Best He's in everything he does. The best boy. Uh, so I think on like this stuff, mm. like you know, a lot of it is like beautifully painted. There, mm. very cool, very nice. Uh, I think my favorite part, uh, that's always great. That's a great jewel. <laughs> uh, real, real cute. But I think it was the the young bloods. Like, holy shit. Wow. Because what is it, like up to 16 or? Yeah, I think it's 16. That's pretty, impressive. Pretty fucking good. Mm. Like, definitely on their way to being... An amazing painter, like yeah. already, already better than I am. Like, I man, I remember like as a kid when you'd see like the young bloods painting competition stuff. Yeah, and like some of it was dog shit. Yeah, yeah, it really was. But they just weren't the guides online. Actually, getting like, um, you know, like uh, tut being like uh, taught how to paint was difficult as yeah. a kid. Yeah, yeah, like you would have a book. You'd have that shitty, like, white dwarf thing that was just like, paint it blue, then dry brush it, then magic step in the middle, now it's done and looks uh, great. Yeah, just do some fine details, well. and <laughs> yeah, it's absolutely perfect. Whereas now, like, there's so much more resource out there for learning. Yeah, like, it's so, so much easier. Um, that model's fucking amazing. Yeah, that looks fantastic. Did they sculpt it themselves? I don't recognize it. I don't know. Like that orc's like face oh. looks so fucking good. I don't recognize most of this. I think that's like scratch built. So I think the this part is there's a Forge World model hmm. that has these. Oh, okay. Uh, but yeah, looks real, real nice. Impressive. Wow, they make that themselves as well, I think. He's cool. I like his proportions. Hmm. Mm. Very good. I want to look at that Emperor one. Wow. Blech. Again, I'm wondering if they... Do they sculpt the whole thing themselves? Is everything scratch built here? Holy shit. It better be. It better be. I'm going to scratch the paint off to check if it's been 3D printed. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> how, do they, how do they even... I don't even know that's. We have to drill a core sample out of the model. Wow, yeah, God, imagine if they did that. <laughs> um. It's weird he has gone for the blonde hair. Or is that just the lighting? It's just lighting effect. Yeah, it might be the lighting. It does look a lot darker up the top. Wow. Yeah, because, you know, doesn't Horus have black armor? Hmm. Nice. Very nice. Got a new rumor engine. What's it going to be today? Three horns. I don't even know what the three horns do. I don't know how to use the three horns. Oh, Ben, you fool. <laughs> uh, God, who knows? Mm. Mushrooms? Maybe they're mushrooms. They look like they've got nails in. Yeah. Looks orky to me. Like Could be a war cry, <laughs> honestly. Yeah, war cry. Sigmar orc. Uh, orc cry. An orc thing? Could mm. be anything. Who knows? Uh, um, what's it mean for your codexes? Uh, this is a lot of words to say they go in the bin. In the bin. Also, your cards go in the bin. In the bin. Hoarding actions not going in the bin, though. You can still play those. Just with the new data sheets, right? Only the core rules in Arx of Omen and Abaddon are going to work. All those new stratagems you've got from the other books. Oh. In the bin. In the bin. God, you... They haven't finished releasing those. <laughs> I know, right? Like, how hyped are you for the Farsight book? Now that you know the Lion's coming and 10th edition's coming out. 
like way to like oof, really kill some enthusiasm. <laughs> I gotta say, I'm more hyped for that than the fucking rules for Snickrot in that book. Uh, even the, uh, like, at least Farsight got a cool uh, model. Uh, yeah, that's true. Oh. Sadness. I just feel like they should have waited like a month or two before they're announcing 10th. Let Arcs of Omen wrap up. Yeah. You know, let us sit in it for a minute. Because yeah, now no I, one. I cannot be asked to play Arts of Omen now. Because no I know that care. I'm just going to have to forget all those rules I'm learning. Yeah. I feels that. If really, like, I think that's a real fuck up. Yeah. Hmm. Sadness. Uh, what else? <laughs> what else do we have? Uh, Lion Book. Are you going to be able to get that as, like, is this all coming out immediately? Yeah, so the fancy book, the regular book, and the audio book are, are all coming out on the same day. You don't know, it's not like, a, yeah, 300 people get, get well, sorry, 2,000 people get Head Start. It'll all be at the same time. Um, I'm really intrigued as to what, what the hell's going on. Because I really thought he was just going to be like, I'm awake now, what's going on? Woo! It was actually like, no. He's been awake for a while, apparently. Mm. He's always been awake, like Kragnos. Well, Kragnos was always there. <laughs> yeah. He was always there. <laughs> we'll see. Dreadnoughts, Tom! One of my favorites. I love Dreadnoughts. Dreadnoughts cool. They're the best. I hate all these ones. I love this one. He's amazing. He's very, very nice. He's a walking coffin. Well, no, because the guy's not dead inside. He, well, he's just on like a life support machine. Yeah. Like he would be dead if they didn't put him in there. Yeah, but you wouldn't go into a hospital and be like, <clears throat> that person's in a coffin! <laughs> that person's in a coffin! <laughs> Let me unplug your coffin! Yeah, yeah. You, you wouldn't like shout that. That's, no. how you get, that's very quickly how Not, you get well, kicked would, out of a hospital. I would never do that again. <laughs> Not since you got banned. But it, the, this bit is literally called a sarcophagus. Like that's what that part of the dreadnought's called. Mm. So not a coffin. It's, it's a, same thing. <laughs> Okay. Quick, rise up all the, the <laughs> pot brushes. Um, yeah. Man, I hate that little fucking yeah. force knife. It's lame as shit. Why it's would... so lame. Yeah. I don't like the little helmet either on either of those guys. It's much cooler when it's like a vision slit. The vision slit does look better. But I I think the, uh, the librarian is the only one that I'm kind of into it on. Okay, because he's a brain boy. Because he's a brain boy, and you can't have too much metal in front of the, the brain. <laughs> right, okay. It'd be like putting, like, a giant metal condom on. <laughs> right. You know, nothing's nothing's working down there. Yeah. So you got to have his brain, okay. brain juice to be able to get out. Is that why Bjorn Space Wolves fuck, so he doesn't have armor plating? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they don't show <laughs> that this bit isn't on there, and like he's just his little up with the wolf skin. Yeah, his little dangler is hanging out because Space Wolves fuck, man. Like, fuck. They definitely fuck. Even in death, I still fuck. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Nothing can stop Bjorn. <laughs> oh, amazing. Uh, and then bad dreadnoughts. Man, I had. I had this model. That was like a Chonky Christmas present one boy. year. And they were real heavy. It was real heavy, but it was fucking cool. Yeah, because dreadnoughts are cool. Uh, but like back then, like when the dreadnought was like one of the coolest things you could have in yeah. TK. Well, that's it. That was pretty much the biggest thing. <laughs> Other than a Land Raider. Yeah. Which uh, only the rich kids had. Yeah, and like, I think when I had this and we were playing it was before like the new Land Raider had come out <laughs> uh, oh. yeah I love yeah. that guy classic dreadnoughts they're kind of laughable now aren't they I thought those were more like Imperial robots no the robots are even thinner and ganglier and sillier yeah. Um, yeah and and then the real big ones. What, what this photo never does, every time I see one in real life in a cabinet somewhere, I am shocked. I'm still shocked today when I see one. 
They are so much bigger than you think they are. They are like twice the height of an old Dreadnought. Wow. Uh, that is a, I think that's like a hundred mil base. Ooh. They are like this big. They're like real. No. They, they seriously are. No. I think you you misremember heights because when we were talking we about got it the, wrong. I got it wrong on the, the Titanicus thing and you're like, they're like seven feet tall. I'm like, no, Pen. <laughs> no, Pen, they're please They're bigger stop. than me, Tom. <laughs> Look at that regular Dreadnought at the end there. Mm -hmm. They are fucking huge. Not quite twice the height. Not far off twice the height. Look at it, Tom. Look with your eyes. They're so much bigger than you think they're going to be when you look at them in front Yeah, they are, they are big. They are real big. So what happened? Like, how does it get decided if you get put into this or mm. put into this? Well, if you're a little baby boy or you're a new Chad Primaris. Oh, is that literally it? <laughs> yeah. yeah, but surely the life support system is the same. No, it's different, actually. The big boy Dreadnought... Oh, is like that the one that it, like... <laughs> Burns. burns you out. It, yeah, it like eats you up. You, okay. you only okay. survive like a small amount of time in one of these things because you like get fucking eaten up. They burn brightly, Tom. Like Why for build half them? as long? Why build the machine like that? It's bigger. Got to power the big legs. Whereas old dreadnoughts, like Bjorn the Fellhand is ten thousand years old. He ain't burning out. No. There's no, um... Yeah, but don't they, uh... He's only awake, like... <laughs> yeah, once every 200 years or Yeah, something. <laughs> once a week every 200 years. <laughs> yeah. Uh... True. I mean, it depends how good his rules are in the current edition, how often they wake him up. Oh, uh, that makes sense. Um... I think he was awake a lot in 8th edition. Not so much now. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah, when you could first take the, uh... Shield. Dreadnought with Storm Shield and stand that next to him and no one can target Bjorn. He's got less than 10 wounds. Yeah, God, that was <laughs> fucking good, wasn't it? That was really good. Yeah. Oof. Uh, so yeah, I guess you never get a venerable Redemptor Dreadnought. Because they die too soon. They burn too badly. So. Basically as big as one of these. You want a little Kragnos rock to stand on. Yeah, well, he used to have one when he was a captain. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, they had to had to have that installed. It's like, I'm not going to battle without my rock. I want my posing rock. <laughs> anyway. Cool. Very um, good. Get a little, little Terminator flashback. Man. I remember fucking thinking Terminators were the coolest thing I'd ever seen when this guy came out. Because I had these guys from um, Space Hulk. First edition Space Hulk had the, these lads. Yeah. And then when these guys came out, it was like pff, fucking real shit, man. They're so much better. When did they, when were these ones released? It was still in um, Rogue Trader era. You had that box of Imperial Terminators and they had like one guy with an assault cannon, one, yeah. one librarian, the captain with the grenade launcher on the back of his power fist. Remember that box set? Vaguely. Um, metal Late Terminators 80s. box. Right. 40k. Um, this one. 89. Wait, are those the metal ones? Anyway. Yeah, that is. Oh, okay. Thanks, eBay. Uh, yeah, those are all metal. Well, you didn't get lightning claws in here. No, because the light right. uh, the lightning claws are, are later. later. They're the edition. ones after these. You're right. Still the same bodies, but they added a few extra arms in another set, didn't they? Because Thunderhammers and Storm Shields aren't in here either. Nor is the Cyclone. I don't even think they're the same bodies. I think they are. I think they're different bodies. When do those power claws? I just like, whenever I see that model, I, I think it was in one of the first games of like D and D that we ever played. Mm -hmm. uh, 
my, I was playing as a dwarf, and my friend wanted to play as a. He was obsessed with the, uh, the Philip Pullman books. The. Oh, what like the Golden Compass? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. and he wants to be an armored polar bear. And his stepdad, I think, had bought him that model. And, like, I still kind of see that model. As a polar bear. <laughs> like, the armored polar bear. Because as a kid, we were like... Yeah, sure. He's got claws. <laughs> like, he's got the claws. He's got a weird face. And, like, I don't, I didn't see it as a... Uh, as a space marine. As, like, a space marine. And oh, I'm just like, wow. I can't really, like, place what I was actually playing first. Doing, like, role-playing. Or if we're doing... um. Like Warhammies. Wow. Ninety uh, five. Oh, there you go. It says a classic. It says he's an eighty nine boy. Is he an eighty nine boy? Right, according to the this bit, yeah. Wow. And then he's a ninety five guy. Right. Okay. Hmm. I never saw any of these until much, much later, until like yeah. people looking back retro. Mm. Terminators, cool boy. Although like nowadays, Terminators aren't the same. Like back when there was a unit with a oh, they two up armor save. Well, do you remember in second edition, everyone, Space Marines had a three up armor save on one yeah. dice. Terminators had a three up armor save on 2d6. Oh, fuck. I don't think I was really playing 40k at that stage. That was the first and second edition rules for Terminator armor, which was fucking bonkers. Because so, if you didn't hit them with anything with any armor penetration value, oh, they geez. only died on a double one. Oh, my God. It made taking armor saves quite tedious, though, because you had to do them one at a time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you've hit me with yeah. 30 las guns. Okay, cool. Boop, 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 oh, boop. And every time you hit the Cyclone guy... Oh, surely on that, you just roll all of them at once. You roll one dice for everyone. If you roll only oh. once, roll those again. And then if you roll a, yeah, another one... Yeah, no, I was a dumb 10-year-old. We didn't think of that. <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, but... Wow, Tom Smart. Um, but yeah, if the Cyclone guy got hit, there was <laughs> well, a... No, Tom not smart. Tom is a fraction smarter than ten-year-old Ben. <laughs> a fraction smarter. I think that's a a better scaler to put it on uh, than actually being smart. Oh, wow! Yeah, every time the cyclone got hit, if you rolled your two d six again, and if you rolled a ten or more, the the bullets like made the cyclone missile fire. Like you got a system malfunction, Ooh. and you then rolled a scatter dice and like two d six, and the missiles just went. That's fun. Off in every different direction. So people would just like shoot auto guns at Terminators just to see if they could set off the rocket launchers. <laughs> That's kind of funny. <laughs> you don't uh, get rules like that no more. <laughs> uh, the old school assault, assault cannon jams. Like, oh, yeah, on the triple jam. Was it just a, was it any triple or was it just triple one? I think it was, it used to roll three sustained fire dice. Oh, it like that's a, it. It's like a D3. But one of the threes was a jam. Yeah. And if you rolled the triple jam, then kablawi, the model was removed. Uh, which is cool. I like that. <laughs> Almost never comes up. But no. if it does, hilarity. hilarity is had by all. <laughs> Good times. Uh, now that I'm seeing more variants in heads... I don't think I love how it mounts. Like, the moment they turn their head, like this guy, the one they used in the promo pictures, looks great, stomping forwards. These guys with their heads tilted look a bit awkward. Do you know what I mean? Hmm. Hmm. I think they're... They're all right. They're all right in my books. All right. I mean, he's got, like, checkerboards on, so I can't complain. Very cool. Here's some different colored ones. Come on, guys. You could have could have glued some bits on. Right. Oh, but you didn't get those bits in the box, but... True. False advertising. False advertising. Good point. Mm. Mm. Cool. I don't know. I just feel like he looks like he's... You know when you have a helmet on and you, you have to like lift your head up to actually look oh. far ahead? Yeah, looks like maybe. he's doing that. Like he can't really see unless he like lifts his head up. That might be the 
might be the case. Maybe. Hmm. Bam. Well, that's all the official Warhammer news. Wow, 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 wow. So much news. That is a lot of news. Holy smokes. Um, there's a little bit of, like, unofficial Warhammer news. If you want Hello to know that. Um, Do it. I thought this was a bit of fun, not Warhammer news. Um, the new edition of... There's a Lord of the Rings Magic the Gathering, right? Uh-huh. That's coming out soon. They're doing a limited edition one of one, the one ring card printed in the Dark Tongue of Mordor as like a Willy Wonka's golden ticket situation. A single copy of this card will be put into a pack somewhere. And this guy, this professional magic collector, is saying he will pay $100,000 for this card or he will pay you $50,000 and the two of you will take a flight to an active volcano and throw it in. Oh, what? And you can choose. Like, if you pull this card, you can, like, contact him and he will arrange for that. What? <laughs> uh... Which I just think's fucking amazing. Okay, Dan Bot. <laughs> yeah. How does Dan Bot have so much money? What's he fucking doing? He's a millionaire magic collector. Um, apparently, he's like a magic trader. He runs like a game store in America. Right. And he buys okay. and sells magic cards and scams kids out of cards and has accumulated an inventory worth supposedly over twenty million dollars. Wow. Um, yeah, I but if he's you know, putting his own prices on those cards. Yeah, my magic collection, that's worth fucking $20 billion. <laughs> yeah. I'm a really shit, you know, magic dealer. Yeah. No one's bought a card from me yet. <laughs> but when but they do... <laughs> when they do at my evaluation... Oh, so I do love the idea that originally he was like, I want it, I need it. It's my precious, I'll give you a hundred grand. And then he was like, I tell you what, Let's just fucking throw it into a volcano, because what a fucking YouTube video that will make. It would be pretty fucking good. <laughs> I like it. I'm in. Um, cool. I love it. Big respect. So and, someone... and then if he, I think legally, if he tries to take the card and back out of it, you're legally allowed to push him into the volcano with it. Oh, okay. Gollum style. Wait. Who's the golem there? <laughs> Wait. Am I going to be like... No, wait, uh, we're going to throw it in. He's going to jump onto me, bite my <laughs> finger off, hold it, and then he tumbles to his doom. Cradling his near mint condition. So is he? The, he's the golem, and I'm the Frodo. Okay, sure. I guess I don't want to be either. I don't want to be in the lava, and I also don't have my finger bitten off. Well, of can the I, two. Can I be the Sam? Crying in the corner. <laughs> no, I mean, no, no. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, because then you get to go back and fuck. <laughs> so he's definitely the best. Um, Sam is the best. Yeah, yeah. I'd like. Yeah, sure. I'd be the Sam. He's the he's the cool one. Um, isn't this wild? I love it. They're That's doing the fucking old, amazing. Like Willy Wonka. What are the chances are though that some kid just get gets that pack, doesn't know what it is? Sticks it into I his box of cards. The problem is, the percentage of people that are buying these packs in good faith to have fun with them mm -hmm. is minuscule compared to most people that are buying these are probably getting it for collectors or resell or mm. stuff like that. There's more people in that Willy Wonka's uh, style of uh, violent. Beauregard's parents. <laughs> yeah, just opening Shutting down like the, the fucking nutcracking factory and have, <laughs> yeah. making everyone just open up packs and packs of Lord of the Rings cards, hoping that they get the uh, the yeah. one ring. I think that is more likely. I really, really hope it just ends up in some kid's sticker book and resurfaces 20 years from now. Yeah. Scuffed to fuck. They wouldn't let that happen, surely. But if you're just a kid and you don't no, know... No, but there's no way... Oh, that wizards would let that happen. If that... Do you think if this doesn't turn up in the next six months, they're going to just put another one in a packet and send it out? Yeah, I think they make sure. They put it into a special box and like that goes to... An influencer or something. Like a store, an influencer. It goes somewhere. Because mm. they want the PR around it, right? Yeah, of course. You can't run the risk that... 
it just ends up in, on... In a, in a news agent somewhere where they don't sell a lot of cars. Yeah, it sits exactly. on the shelf where for two years. Somehow they put that on an order and it just sits in a back room and just never, mm. never comes out. They've got to... They've got to put it out. Mm. Surely. What do you think it's worth? Because I wonder if 100,000 is like a low ball. Because some magic cards are obviously worth an insane amount. And there aren't, to my knowledge, no other magic cards that there are only one of. Right? I don't know. Well, surely at that stage, it is worth... Whatever someone's willing to pay for it. Because there's no comparison. There's yeah. no, like, this one sold for this much. Right? Like, I think if you got that, and you were just straight away, you were like, I'm going to sell this for £250,000. Mm. It's the only magic card... Do you want to be the magic collector that says you have it? Because mm. there's only one, and only one of you can do that. Oh, wait, you guys waited five minutes. It's £300,000. <laughs> yeah. Well, now I hope Tom finds it. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what, Ben? If I get that card, <laughs> yeah. and I get £300,000, I will give you £50,000, I will fly us both to a volcano, <laughs> and we'll fucking throw a real gold ring into that volcano, <laughs> yeah. and I promise neither of us have to fall in. Hooray! Like, we can have that whole experience, and we I'll buy you a Sam costume, <laughs> I'll dress up as, I don't know, Gimli, or Treebeard, <laughs> fuck the law, fuck it. Should I just turn up as Harry Potter and really I will turn people? up as Harry Potter, <laughs> you can be fucking Captain Picard, <laughs> and we'll throw the flute, which is also my wand, into the volcano, and have a great fucking time. How does that sound? We can do that I love adventure, it. if I get this card. Okay, how many packs are we buy in? The three. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll open them on stream. <laughs> Perfect. That's that's what we'll do. Should we get Tom Bates to do the foley work? He could do the foley work for the adventure that we have. Because you can't take it. I don't want to take a camera crew up the volcano. That's like a health and safety nightmare. Yeah, that seems like an absolute pain. And it'd be noisy, right? The thing is, we won't be able to just like throw it in. It'll be like thermal, windy. We'll have to get like a, you know, like a stick with a grabber claw or something to like really poke it in. Yeah, I don't even know where the closest volcano is. No. We'll is, figure it out. Is there a website that works Tie out for it me? to a brick. <laughs> okay, that's that's good advice. Uh, oh, what if we what if we make a drone, get a drone, and then dress up the drone to look like Gollum? <laughs> okay. And then we throw it in. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. We get like a waxwork mannequin of Gollum <laughs> <laughs> with the ring uh, going like this. <laughs> and we throw that in. Mm -hmm. uh, Vesuvius, can you actually... Is it active? Um, That's like fucking... I want with lava. <laughs> with dogs? Was that... With dogs allowed. With dogs allowed. That's a weird question. I want everyone who's Googling that to like go on a list. Why do you want to throw your dog into a volcano? <laughs> no, maybe just like going on nice walks with your dog. <laughs> and your dog really wants to see a volcano. <laughs> uh, <laughs> weird lava. Why, why are people going there? Oh, there's an Iceland one. That makes sense. Okay. Sure. Which one's easiest to climb? Hmm. Yeah, which is the lazy man's volcano. Which one's got a cable car? I want a cable car. <laughs> I want snacks. <laughs> I don't want to forget the taste of strawberries. <laughs> no, I don't want to forget <laughs> that. So I want a strawberry seller. <laughs> strawberries and cream on the cable car. <laughs> okay, perfect. Uh, oh, if can we get can we hire Sherpas and put them in eagle costumes? And they come and rescue us? <laughs> yeah. No, there has to be a helicopter that is going to fly in to take us away. Right. And that they need some kind of giant animatronic eagle <laughs> that turns and lands. And then we, we come into that and fly off. Okay. Perfect. Okay. I think that makes sense. Let's do it. Great. Okay. Well, hopefully. Hopefully you get this. Fingers crossed. Uh, Will the strength of men fail, Tom? Will you buckle and want the 50 grand <laughs> instead? Will your greed overcome you? Well, no, because I'm just going to try and sell it. Remember, we're not throwing this in. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. We're selling this for more money. Right, to buy more rings. More rings. Well, no, we can just 
keep the other cash. I can make that fucking Steel Legion army. Oh, sweet. <laughs> That's probably, what, 100 grand? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> For uh, 2,000 points? Oh. You know what? Nine rings of men, right? I got 10 fingies. They should do that. They should make all of the, the rings of power. Yeah. Three, seven, and nine, right? Yeah. That'd be kind of cool. There probably are cards for them, but they're not doing the limited thing, I guess. Well, if they did like a limited one, that'd mm. be great, great PR stuff. They are. 100 copies of each. Okay. Ah, cool. I'm in, into that. Mm. Sure. When did they go on sale? I don't know. Okay. Um, should, we, should we Google? Lord of the Rings Magic the Gathering cards. Uh, shit, they're on sale now? Are they? No, pre order. Uh, June 20th. Oh, well, Magic the Gathering Arena. Oh. Oh, they're June 23rd. Oh. That's not for ages. You need collector's packs. Oh. <clears throat> How much do these cost? Oh, 30 pounds a pop. How much? What, for one booster? Be greedy. Greed for the One Ring. Buy your scratch card now. Only twenty nine ninety five. Oh my god! Suddenly, those three packs feel very Ooh. fucking expensive. Ooh, really? Is that the only way you can get the the golden ticket? How much do you get in the booster box? How many packs are in there? <laughs> you could buy one and a half plasma gunners for that. Oh time. my god! <laughs> wow, twelve packs for three hundred and fifty pounds. Oh my god! I don't think we're gonna get a like a, a Willy Wonka's factory of opening up hundreds of packets situation here, Tom. How many of these have they printed? How many? What's your chance of pulling a one ring? Business expense. <laughs> we'll buy one. One. One pack. One pack. One 30 pound pack. <laughs> Unless anyone wants to donate 350 pounds to the stream. Someone donates 350 pounds. <laughs> We'll buy, we'll buy that box. Ooh. But what you really should do is buy that yourself yes. and open it yourself. And then invite us to Mount Doom with you. Then pay for us to go to Mount Doom. <laughs> yeah. You can choose which fantasy character you want to uh, want to dress up as. Charlie Bucket bought two bars. That's true. God, he was a little shit. He could have given that money to his mum. Should have. They're all shit, so aren't they? Yeah. Grandpa Joe, what an asshole. Scumbag. Oh, I'm too old to move. <gasps> Golden ticket. Dippity dippity doo. Yeah, sweet. <laughs> I'm on it. Bring me dinner. I'm so frail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mmm, cabbage soup. <laughs> yeah. What an asshole. Uh, <sighs> don't talk shit on Grandpa Joe. Grandpa Joe was a freeloader. He was. Fucking slacker. He could have helped around the house. Yeah, done anything. But yeah. no, hadn't left bed in like eight years or something. Yeah. Bad dude. Just the worst. Didn't they get the Wonka Empire in the end? Yeah, sure. Okay, great. Remortgage your house, sell everything, and just gamble with it. <laughs> yeah, just go to Vegas. Just put it all on a lottery ticket. <laughs> Definitely works out, right? That's the message you should be sending. No. The odds of Charlie Bucket getting a golden ticket were astronomically small. Yep. He leapt out hard. <laughs> they won, so you can't argue with that. <laughs> it's, it's true. It's very true. Uh, oh, where's the dad? The dad is slaving away in a fucking toothpaste factory. Oh, that's in the remake. In the original. What's he doing in the original? Is there, does, is there even a dad in the original? I think he's just at work. He's definitely in the house, but he works all day, right? Is he? I can't remember. It's been a long time since. I'm pretty sure in the book he was a toothpaste top screwer. Oh, uh, maybe. Um... In the 
the the next one, the bad one, the remake. Yeah, I never saw it. The Johnny Depp one. He was in that as a okay. toothpaste man. I think that's from the book because I've read the book to my boy a few couple of years ago. I think uh, it's toothpaste. Um. <laughs> he stepped out for a pint of cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> what are Tom and Ben doing until the Chaos Dwarf DLC comes out? Oh, they're yelling at an old guy from Willy Wonka. <laughs> <laughs> yes, what else do you expect us to be doing? Well, we've already shouted at toy soldiers, so... Uh... <laughs> we've shouted at Magic the Gathering for a bit. Uh, let's find something else to mm. shout at. What else have we got? Uh, I don't know. What else is going on? Um, Minecraft uh, D and D is getting a Minecraft supplement. Now you can take D and D adventures in Minecraft. Yeah, I kind of fucking love that. I, I kind of like the artwork. I have to admit, I'm kind of into it. That's actually super jokes. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Now you know the exact damage calculation of an Ender Dragon. Like I'm in. Like <laughs> yeah. they have. Because it's just going to be, what, like 20 mobs? Yeah, it's just like, going to be like a source book of just here's a weird realm you can go to, I guess. I, I kind of, kind of down. What class is that's Steve? Fun. <laughs> that's a good question. It's like a... It's like a fighter, right? <laughs> now you can you can recreate Shadow of Israfel in your D&D &D games. Ooh. We should be fucking doing that. Yeah, that'd be bank. Oh, but you can't because... D and D will fucking. Didn't they backtrack on some of that? I don't know. It got real complicated, and then a I bunch of other people attention. came in, and then they were gonna do a thing. Yeah, I, God, I just absolutely ran out of steam on it. Mm. Uh, but this sounds kind of awesome. Uh, yeah, we should do a sort of his full module. Yeah, like it's. Just have to put a couple of fucking stats for some characters and some monsters in a book, and nerds will pay a lot of money for it. It's true. Then you can redo it two years later and sell it to them again. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we got it. We learned it from you, James Workshop. Uh, <laughs> wow. Um, uh. I'm I'm down. Module of Israfel, pretty good. Pretty fucking good. Yeah, that's fun. When's that coming out? Uh, I don't know. I haven't read the article. Download today. Oh, look at that! Oh, uh, is it not actually like a published book? Oh, it's just a, just like a PDF. Oh, you got to make an account, right? Because everyone cancelled their subscription. Yeah, God. This is the. Please come back. This is someone who's fucking panicking <laughs> yeah. because so many people cancel subscriptions, close their accounts yeah. after like the big fucking... Uh, the big fallout. And someone's like, there's a lot of people doing Minecraft. Mm -hmm. A lot of kids do that. We can all give them free stuff. Mm -hmm. They just need to make accounts and then they can show their like stock hold, like shareholders. Yeah, we could like, be getting back look how many accounts. Look how many signups we've had. <laughs> right, people <laughs> yeah. haven't actually paid for it yet. God, that's genius. Mm -hmm. You don't need a sub to get it. Just no, count. But yeah, but they can but still say. numbers up, doesn't it? Look how many people have signed up. Actually, everything is fine. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, there's some manager there saying we've got to get new signups. That Otherwise, is the shareholders are going to piss their pants. So fucking good. God, like smart. Seems so like transparently shit now. <laughs> Should have done it with Fortnite. Fortnite would have made sense, but. I think it's way harder to like that takes organically cross over. a year of like, I bet, you know, you talk to Fortnite today, you get it in the game in like 18 months and two years yeah. time because of their, we've already got the next 12 releases, but you know, booked in. Amazing. Mm. This thing was planned way before the shitstorm. Was it? Was it? I mean, it hasn't been much time. Maybe, I don't know. I feel like it's a my my timeline is more fun. <laughs> um, and then we've got outside of the box, which actually we've only got like fifteen minutes left to get through. Oh, wow, we've taken a long time. 
Uh, we got some. Oh, predictions for what's new in Vietnam uh, what's last in Vietnam? week. Um, uh, uh, like a, a fuel truck, fuel oh. a big fuel canister on right. wheels that's towed behind a thing. Okay, that's good. That's good. Um, I'm going to say like um, field repair station with like spanners and Ooh. wheels. Ooh. Uh, right, it's just a box with starter ships in it. Nice. Cool. Great. Um, burn, burning man. Okay. Sure. Um, more zombie side guys. Oh, I like the big fat king. He's fun. He's very familiar. I've seen him somewhere before. Looks a bit like a greaser's gold tooth. Oh, that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah. Uh. Sure. Got some swooping hooks. Wow, wow, wow. Isn't that quite nice? We've got a big, big fat guy. Circumference. <laughs> oh, I didn't get it till you said it. Then I got it. Because uh, you were just focusing on the cum. <laughs> That's all I was thinking of. Good, good name. <laughs> got a ghost uh, horse guy. He's cool. Oh, it's oh. Scarecrow from Batman's. The worst nightmare. He's got spooky pumpkin boys. Okay, that's like a kind of a fun gang. Mm. Sure. Got leg boys. Mecha legs. I saw last week there was leg boys with spears, and I was guessing they were like Rough Rider substitutes. Yeah. But leg boy with gun makes less sense. Run and gun. You know, people say that. They do. This person's better at run. Must be better at gun. Checks out. Checks out. Tank, tank pilot guy? Is that like a welding torch? Or like a motion scanner? Oh. Could be anything. I like his little bag. That's nice. Look at these guys. Ottomans. Ottomans. Okay. Wow, you never normally see models for these guys. Baggy pants. They're good. They're pretty good. Oh. That guy looks exactly like the person who's in the Cities of Sigma. <laughs> Except he's got a moustache. Still the same, same energy. <laughs> okay, sure. And then what is new in Vietnam? Uh, backpacks. Oh, fuck. Backpacks feels like something we could have guessed. Yeah, I feel like we should have guessed that one. Just a million different backpacks. Oh. Oh. Close. And we can never say that again. Shit. They're never going to do backpacks again, are they? Okay, are you ready for Ooh. Kickstarter roulette? Kickstarter oh, roulette. Oh, heard of be seven. Oh. Look, we'll open that as a... That's just a given, right? A given, because we've seen all the other <laughs> herd of beasts. Uh, what about mini tactics wars? Ooh. I like that. Uh, uh, okay, from the deep. Dungeons of Everon. Oh, just pollution. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Uh, oh, non squad. We had two for non squad. I think we've seen a non squad before. Does sound familiar. Scroll down a bit. Oh, God, there's loads. Oh, there's so many. Uh, hmm. Oh, do you want to just see modular mecha oh, builder? It will be shit. <laughs> I'm not wasting my guess on that. Ooh, cyber addiction. Oh. I'll go for that. Uh, Battletech mercenaries? Sounds like something a Ben would like. Hmm. You like Battletech? I do like Battletech. Just yeah, let's just up. get it up anyway. Also, if, th if this is the thing I'm thinking it is, because I do look at dice Kickstarters a lot. Hmm. Not many of these are jumping out at me. Let's go for gods and monsters. Let's do that. Okay, right. Well, herd of beasts. More dinos. They are really running out of the good dinos to make. Oh, speaking of dinos, I watched um, uh, what's his name? Adam Driver fight the dinos. Yeah. It's not good. No? Even by my real low expectations. Oh, no. I was going in just expecting, you know, it's going to be a bit of a B-movie. Um, it's quite low budget. At least it will be short and quick and, you know, action-y. 
But even then, it was it was disappointing. Oh. Do you not recommend? Adam Driver fights the dinosaurs. Oh, okay. That's kind of taking the wind out of the sails a little bit. Yeah. That's kind of intrigued, but now... Didn't even recognize any of the dinosaurs out of it. Oh, is it like these guys? Yeah. It was like weird-shaped dinosaurs that I couldn't name that looked like weird monsters. Well, I guess, you know, uh, Jurassic Park is copyrighted, like all of the, uh, <laughs> all of the good ones. That's what it feels like. And so they're left with, like, off-brand elephant. You know... This rhino. Well, if you go back to the top again, like I think literally one of those dinosaurs was in it. Ooh. Um, right to the top. Uh, all the way to the to the title. Yeah, like the first thing. That guy. That guy was there for sure. It's just a fucking lizard with funny teeth. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It was really like, why? Okay. Well, they're always nice. Mm. Always nice miniatures. Uh. Oh, it's like Advanced oh, Wars. Wow, it really is like Advanced Wars. It's a DIY board game. Why does he have no eyes, Ben? <gasps> he doesn't want to see the horrors of war anymore, Tom. Oh, it's cool. I like the map a lot. Yeah. Oh, it's 3D printing. He won't ship you the, the thing. The minis are all a bit like off. They just don't capture that. And the no eyes on them is weird. Well, you don't have to look into them when he dies. <laughs> like the little terrain set is kind of rad. I like the look of it. Oh, wow. Like it literally is like... Is it the same? Oh, jeez. Uh, easy attacks. Wow, ratios. Okay. Um, wow, five to one. Got those points breaks. Like, you just plink one damage onto someone. God, there's a, lo a lot of doing that, actually, right? I don't understand what I'm looking at here. So, if you have ten, a unit with ten, like, there must be, like, markers, right? On how many things are on the unit. Oh, you can buy units as well. Man, it's just advanced wars. Uh, hmm. But, like,. How much is it? Ooh. Ten bucks, because you is believe. It, is it STLs. You get the paper version for ten euros. Uh, Twenty for the three D files. It's not like honestly, that's not bad. Yeah. Seventy, and you get just every everything, but not nothing oh, just actually but printed. All this other stuff. Just loads of extra files. Azar bricks. Hmm. Okay, that's kind of cool. Kind of a bit wacky. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how, kind of how I feel about it. It looks fiddly. Yeah, I think, depending on how they've simplified it, and... Oh, wow, someone's literally making just... Sorry, I'm just getting distracted now. How are they... Is this a computer game? How are they not getting fucking sued for this? <laughs> how are you not getting a cease and desist? <laughs> yeah. God, it's even got the exact same animations. Look at that. Apart from what happens, they like implode in on themselves. <laughs> that feels like a... Yeah, holy shit. Like at first glance, I couldn't, wouldn't even be able to tell you if this was the same game or not. <laughs> uh... <laughs> game? <laughs> sure. Mm. Okay. Uh, pollution! That's not what I was expecting. Tom, are you going to have to wear the gnome? Are the nipples covered? <laughs> I can't believe you would pick something so horny. How <laughs> <laughs> was I to know? You knew what I was what just like, pollution, doing. that's a... How could you not know? That's an abstract <laughs> thing. I wanted to know what people were calling just... Okay, there's no nipple. Okay, no, okay. It's not oh, too horny yet. Okay, so her head is like a factory. Oh, okay. Oh, so it's like Mother Nature getting, like, but dirty. But she's Mother Pollution. Okay, let's see. Keep scrolling. They're dangerously close to showing something. Mm. Okay, there's no alternate sculpts. There's no, like, topless sculpt. Okay, I think you've been saved. 
Saved by pure chance. Oh, oh, here's the gnome. Why? <laughs> Why? Fine. I'll have the, the, the gnome of shame. <laughs> what the fuck? How was I... So Pollution! You, uh, you knew, Tom. You, that, why do you think you were drawn to it? Because <laughs> I'm, I'm a horny boy gnome. Um, for fuck's sake. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a minefield Kickstarter roulette. <laughs> it really is. How could... What the fuck? Very disappointed in you, Tom. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I think I'm just very disappointed in myself right now, Ben. Jeez. Okay, well, none squad. Okay, there. Well, this is chat. This yeah, this is chat. Is chat. Well, this is dangerous territory chat. You might have to get yourself a gnome here in a minute. Uh. Okay, this is sort of like chibi anime. Just a bit. Just a battle. Yeah, like some of the... Some of the heads are kind of cool. But they're just a lot more... Yeah. <laughs> TNA. Much, not like much more TNA. Far more... Uh, so, how, de how deep dare you go? Hmm. No, I don't think they're going to do any, like, nip ones. You sure? They wouldn't. Oh, you're right. Wow. wow. Chat chat picked... They didn't go they horny. They picked Nun Squad, which was less horny than what you picked. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay. Wow. Well, a... well done, chat. You were less horny than me. <laughs> Jeez. Oh... Uh, okay. <laughs> wow, well, Simon says, Brother, I am about to commit an act of heresy against my pippis. <laughs> Simon, behave yourself. <laughs> think of the em Lie back and think of the emperor, Simon. Uh, modular <laughs> mechas. Oh, bed. these look way better than the last set. These guys are cool. That's, I like these. That's like a portal too. Yeah. Oh, these guys are fun. They're much like chunkier and industrial and less anime than the last batch. We yeah, had. these actually look pretty rad. I like well, these. Not. A ton of pictures. Not a lot of variety, but you can mix and match them, I suppose. You can do with more weapons, I guess. Yeah. But the um the basic frames are good. He's cool. Yeah, I like him. Yeah, these guys look nice. Thanks mm. for your support. <laughs> it was great. It's a yeah. real good. Oh, pleasantly surprised. Uh okay, my next one. Oh fuck. For fuck's sake. Tom! What the <laughs> fuck? We've only got one gnome! <laughs> <laughs> Am I going to start getting more gnomes for this stream? What the hell? <laughs> How was I supposed to know? <laughs> I thought it'd be a fun oh, cyberpunk. God, I go away for one week, and you, you just degenerate <laughs> into horny town. <laughs> the fuck? How could I have known? <laughs> I think just my. You were away for one week, Ben. What did Alex didn't, do to you? It didn't help me, you know, relieve some pent up, pent up energy. And apparently, all the horniness comes out. <laughs> Well, we're never letting Alex back. <laughs> That's for sure. Fuck. This is what happens. <laughs> God, I felt like they were both pretty, like, pretty innocent choices. Oh, shit the bed. Okay. Well, I'm not winning this week. <laughs> okay, Battletech Mercenaries. Do they have a cool, cool thing? Oh, wow. That's a lot of mechs. That's a lot of mechs. Holy moly. Uh, I'll take a break in a sec. Well, if because uh, we'll probably wrap up before too long. If TJ, if you want to go home, we can we can end. That's true. Yeah, we're only going to be going for a little bit longer anyway. Yeah, yeah. We yeah, can no worries, around. man. Yeah, or like, if not, I can come through. Cool. Cool. Take these, Bill. TJ. 
Uh, okay, cool. Wow, they just, I guess they're just re-releasing a whole bunch of different mech designs. It's a lot. It's a lot of new mechs. Yeah. All right. They're, they're some of my favorite mech designs. Some of the battle techs, not all of them. Um, the y yeoman. <laughs> the, the best one. You like you have the yeoman and the longbow, don't you? Just the big missile boys. Yeah, all missile. Okay, God, there's a lot of stuff. Uh, oh, look. So, do you like dice, Ben? Yeah. Well. <gasps> Little slidey pebble dice. Uh, okay. But what they've gone there and done there is they've made Atlantean swirlers. Yeah. One of your favorite randomizing <laughs> mechanics. <laughs> if anything was ever going to get close to dice, it's the Atlantean swirler. You've got to have a real level table, though, haven't you, for this to work? Oh, man, they're so abusable. If you, <laughs> just the yeah. tiniest. All you need is just, like, a, a fucking grain of sand. <laughs> yeah. Should be just enough to really... Uh... Do, they, do they come with, like, a spirit level? You'd hope so. But, yeah, those things are busted. <laughs> Isn't the Atlant Atlantean Swirler a sex thing? You could make it a sex thing. Yeah. You could uh, decide every every part of your life, sexy or not, based on Atlantean swirlers. Yeah. Is it going to be a dolphin, an octopus, a shark? <laughs> Whoa, who knows? Um, and what have you oh. got? Got some monsters. Oh, Croco-Man's here. Croco-Man. Ah! Look at him go. Okay. He's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Got Horus. Horus just... He's the Warhammer 40,000. Just. And Anubis. God, it's hard to read fonts, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Bust. Hippo guy. Cow it. Snick. Watch it. Cool. So they've basically just done all the big, big Egyptian gods. Well, a load of other. Ooh, Hydra. Moving into, like, That's the fun. other pantheons as well. Yeah. Talos. Oh, they could all work oh, the Jason and the Argonauts he's stuff. Cool. Oh, that's oh, cool. Oh, the boat. That boat. I love that. Oh, I want to see the Kraken. Wilbur. Wilbur Watley. Waitley? From. Uh, I don't know what that is. He's from the HP Lovecraft. Oh, right. The Dumbwitch Horror. Uh. Weird. Hmm. Weird that he's in this mix. Hi, guys. I'm here, too. Okay. Oh, there's some nice scops there. Uh, okay, right. I don't know if Nun's going to win. Nah. I don't think Pollution <laughs> or my uh, <laughs> either of my horny choices. Although these are nice scops. Um, mm, modular mech's not winning. This isn't even a thing we picked. <laughs> uh, so it comes down to tiny, tiny table wars. I I, man, I really like this map. Like, I loved Advanced Wars. Mm. But do you want to build that map and change it every game? I'd like to build one of these and like build and paint it. Mm. I think that would be kind of fun. But I don't want to have to move those around every game that seems like a nightmare <laughs> yeah it really does because the moment someone nudges it and just oh. like oh or everything they have pegs but then you've got to pop them out and then pop oh, them back in absolute pain wow so i like that Wait, can you play the trailer i want to see what how fiddly the paper version is or how oh, so is it all renders looks like it's all renders it just looks like so much work to get a game going. Yeah. Beep beep. It still really bugs me those guys don't have eyes. You can paint eyes on. Yeah. Or you could stick googly eyes on them. Like tabs. Ooh, that's true. You like tabs? There's your money. I want to see the physical thing, not the 3D render of it all. You know? I want to see what it looks like when you've had to paint it yourself or it comes yeah. in plastic. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's different. Do they not have any images of that at all? No, it all looks rendered. Uh. 
Sad. Oh, oh. Here. Okay, that physical board is pretty nice. Yeah, the pieces, not so much. I guess you have to paint them up. Do you think he's painted that, or do you think he's printed them in different colors? No idea. I'd get, my gut would say painted. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm kind of voting for this to win. Okay. How's it doing? How many? How many has he done? He's done it. Wow. Cool. That's got my vote. Okay. I guess it gets mine as well, because it's only up against um, gods and monsters, which are okay. I think they're all nice. They're nice, but I, I just not that into like. Just having a, a thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'd like need a use need for it. need any of it. Or is this is a, like at least a game? It's kind of kind of a bit more exciting. And it's kind of cute. Okay. Pow. Mm. Very good. Well done. Wow. Gemstone dice. Um, we've still got to read uh, some messages that people have sent in. Nice. Oh, man, I can't wait for that 350 bucks. Woo! Uh, Symbolic Stance donated. And they say, Tom Bent, I've been struggling to make it out of the pile. The new infestation of goblin sharks hasn't helped. Uh, someone thought it would be a good idea to trust the goblins with shark plushies with pearl pockets. Oh, no. Real goblin sharks definitely belong in the pile. Uh-oh. Oh, man. That sounds dangerous. Uh, people are using those... Uh Shark plushies as intended, I see. <laughs> Thank you, Symbolic Stance. Uh, Gabriel of Nottingham has donated and says, uh, Jerry Gergic Tom and Ben Quiet Ben. Ooh. According to Yogg's Live, your first Warhammer stream was on the 13th of June, 2018. Wow. Making the 13th of June this year your fifth anniversary. Wow. Which coincidentally would also be my first anniversary at my dream job. A dream job. Any plans to mark five years? Uh, no, God, I don't think we even knew. I don't know. That's terrifying, isn't it? Because five years is a long time. It doesn't feel like it. Five, five years, years is a long time. Wow. And all we do is just whinge about Warhammer. Wow. Wow. Life well spent. <laughs> Life well spent. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I don't know about June, but I know um, next week... We're going to play some Warhammer Total War. How about that? Next week. It's coming back. It's all the people. Where, why aren't they playing the game at the moment? But it's still in the title. Where, where, where? It's, yes, we can come back next week. Yeah, next week. More Warhammer. Next week. It's very exciting. It's going to be a thing, baby. Maybe we'll come up with a five-year special. Yeah. Maybe we'll play a game. Maybe we'll just fuck around. Yeah. Do the same thing we do every week. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll be doing some. Um, Commander Snake, thank you for donating. Well, thank you, Commander Snake. Tom Ben, hope you're doing well. Bringing back an older meme, Ron Weasley scale. The bridge crew of the TNG Enterprise individually or together, or Ron Weasley scale birthday bot. Remember that came from space. Oh, it's too vague. Need definitive. Him versus all of them together. Mm -hmm. What happens is he beam onto the bridge. Mm. And then, or do they beam down to him and his lair? What Hogwarts? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, everyone's gone out from Hogwarts for like uh, you know spider catching lessons or whatever. Okay. And he's at home because oh. he's overslept. And right. Star Trek have got, we found an Earth-like planet. We're beaming down to investigate what appears to be a creepy castle. Um, and then they beam in and they're in Robin Weasley's room. I don't think either of them are going to shoot first though, right? No, neither oh. is going to shoot first. Worf might. No. He's got a rat, Captain. I, I advise <laughs> pew, pew, pew. To boat on torpedoes. Uh, this scanner shows that that rat is an old man. Yeah. Beep, 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 beep. 
I I feel like they turn up and they like they reveal the fucking mm -hmm. the Mitochlorians or whatever that are actually right. giving the wizards their power. They fucking science. Oh, it. okay, cool. And they might just be able to be like, all you have to do is communicate with them, and we can stop the magic. And wow, Ron Weasley's never gonna win. Yeah, because they're gonna prove prove that it's not real. Plus, they've all got a stupefy in their pocket. They do all have a stupefy. <laughs> <laughs> They're all pretty good at stupefying. Yeah. And if it turns out, if he ever fucking like freems one of them, yeah, uh, like they they will fucking shoot back if they have to. Absolutely. Did you see that episode where there was like a worm in an admiral? Oh my god, yeah. Where they they <laughs> super just like shoot him in the face, <laughs> make his fucking head explode. He's evil. Yeah, like they <laughs> yeah. they went all out. That was pretty full on. <laughs> That's the most fucking grisly thing I've ever seen in like, Star Trek. They did not just shoot that guy. <laughs> yeah. They they did it on like the slow burn, the microwave, <laughs> yeah. to really like make his fucking skin peel away and his chest burn and his head exp like yeah, real over the top. Yeah. So Ron Weasley's fucked. I think it's gonna take dozens of dozens of the nerds. Maybe maybe none. Maybe it's not possible. Maybe they do even an avalanche of Ron Weasley's attacking like like when the Emperor had to fight the never-ending World War Z horde of Ron Weasleys. Right, yeah. Even that doesn't win because they just, you know, emit a real ionized pulse. Mm. Whoop, and then no more magic. Oh, also they just beam away. <laughs> yeah. Ron doesn't have space travel. <laughs> and nuke the site from orbit. Mm, yeah, they are famous for doing that. <laughs> uh. They do that. They, they um, you know, the arm throat into that episode where they just torpedo a house. Do you remember that? Oh. It's just what looks like a house in California on a hill. Yeah, but isn't it the house is fucking magical? Like, uh, the house is all like a sham. It's not a real house or something like that. Oh, okay. I can't remember. There's like the man and the woman, They, they their replicator doesn't work or something. I can't. I, I remember you know, the visuals of that episode. <laughs> and I just remember, like, Worf pushing a button and a torpedo zipping off and just, just annihilating that house. Because they, they very rarely do, like, orbital attacks in that show. It really stuck out to me as yeah. a weird episode. Mm. But yeah. I, yeah. I just don't think Ron Weasley's ever winning that one. No. they got too much tech and too much What's smarts. Tech? Yeah. They're not going to be dum-dums like everyone else. Yeah, and Ron Weasley, he's not going to super pull the trigger first. Uh, and you can't even pull the trigger on Data. I don't think Avracadavra works on robots. Yeah, but at that stage, you can just do, like, you know... Anti-roboticus. Well, there's, like, really common basic spells any kid can learn. Yeah. EMPO! <laughs> My Patronus is an EMP. <laughs> and kids are doing it all the time. Someone's yeah. playing with their Game Boy, just boop. And you're like, fuck you. Like, God, I just got this. And you're like, yeah. boom. And because there's like no electronics in Hogwarts. Yeah, because yeah, it's so, every spell is actually giving off this like big EMP. Uh, so <laughs> Maybe Ron Weasley easily wins then. Yeah, yeah. Well, no he technology. definitely beats Data. <laughs> right. But as soon as they get their tricorders and phasers out, he's just like, boom. Yeah. It all shuts down. Although... And the Enterprise, like, crashes into the planet. Very quickly, if... If Ron Weasley gets into a tussle with Data, or mm -hmm. with, like, the Enterprise crew, he's going to be losing for a long time. But before too long, like, Law is going to get wind of it and turn up and help. <laughs> right. So I think Ron Weasley by himself is going to beat them. Okay. But the moment... Law comes and helps Ron Weasley. Right, because he's got the smarts. He's got the smarts, and he's going to be able to manipulate Ron Weasley. Easily. Uh, He'll just promise to buy him a bike or something. Yeah, oh, I'll give you chocolate frogs. Uh, and <laughs> yeah. then then they'll they'll work together. Perfect. Um, but yeah, Wolf would definitely lose. Oh yeah, Ron Weasley would easily overpower Wolf. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh. How? There you go. That's your answer. There you go. Uh, three raccoons and power armor. I think it's five bucks. Need three raccoons and power armor. They say trombone and banjo. It was me. Uh, old bit and a question mm -hmm. I meant to ask weeks ago. Uh, how many Weasleys to a cocaine bear? 
<laughs> oh my god, why is everyone into the Weasleys this Love week? Love the stream, keep it up. Amazing work. I've not seen Cocaine Bear. I've not seen it. I'm pretty sure... Uh, one. One easily beats it. Well, I feel like if a bear's snuffling around in a bag, I feel like Ron Weasley's rat also snuffles in the bag. And then Ron chases it and trips over and lands in the face down in the bag. Uh. And then suddenly everyone's high on cocaine. So coked up Ron Weasley as well. <laughs> yeah. There's no way he's not landing face first in a bag of cocaine. Coked up <laughs> Timothy Spall is there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And a cooked up bear. <laughs> exactly. Sounds like a wild so sounds like a wild uh I'm wild pretty party. Sure, pretty sure place. it ends up in a uh, in a dance off or something. So sure, I'd watch that. They just have a really intense conversation. Oh my god, yeah. I think it's probably hard to chat to a bear, but so sure. sure, well, I'm sure there's a you know, you just have Ursus tongue or something, right? They probably do have that somewhere. It's a thing, right? Yeah. Yeah, like... Ron Weasley becomes convinced he can talk to bears oh, while he's poked up. There he, must be a fucking spell. He can't. <laughs> that lets you do that. I'm sure there is. Like, Surely Harry that. can speak, speak to snakes. Yeah, like that fucking... Those uh, Russian dancers that came and took part in the, the fucking wizard wars. Yeah. Do they have like a out bear house? They must do. And they talk to bears? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, so Ron like leads it back to Hogwarts and finds those like Russian guys. Okay. I think that. And then it's all peace. Peace mm. in their time. Yeah. I think that makes sense. Uh Crook can kill Jory and donates five bucks to you, Crook King. Thank you. Say, hi Tom and Ben. Guess what? Mm. My very legally distinct block game uh, finally arrived today. Congratulations. Uh, I've already enriched the game by adding Flute Picard. Uh, anyway, I figured Ben uh, wouldn't have time to watch Alex's adventure. Uh, so, as before, oh, have you drawn a picture of... Uh, okay, do you want to... Because okay. if we've got all the links, do you want to do the... Do want streamception this? Streamception. We can do it. Uh, okay, I'm in the Matrix. Yeah, right. Have a link. Bonk. I think that will come up. There you go. Is this Alex's Vampire Adventure? This is Alex's Vampire Adventure. God, I can't remember everyone's names. Okay. Wow. What do you think happened? <laughs> Someone... I think... There's lots of eyeballs. Holy shit. Okay. Um, I think this is Alex, the snake aristocrat. And he got obsessed with eyes. And he would keep the eyes of everyone he killed to make his own eyes better because he needed glasses. And he bludgeoned someone to death with a rock. There's a lot of good fucking... And then the rock became his pet rock because the rock did the murder, not him. Um, and then one day he, his pet rock died and went to heaven. Um, then he went to Venice and had a Jonah the Whale adventure inside a whale. Oh. Um, and made some friends. <laughs> yeah, kind of not a million miles away. Oh, and there's a, there's a cat mermaid involved. I mean, that just explains itself, doesn't it? That just explains itself. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're pretty much there. Uh, you missed the uh, the frozen ice sculptures on the mountain. <laughs> okay. uh, that's a thing. Um, and the opera house uh, full of eyes. Did he build the Sydney Opera House? Yeah. And fill it with his eyes? With eyeballs. Yeah, it's pretty, wow. honestly. Um, Was he born in ancient Greece? No, he was actually like a uh, like a little Viking boy. Oh, Vi those are runes. Those are Nordic runes. Of course they are. Um, wow. How did he turn into a snake? He turned uh, eel. Eel. Oh, jellied eel eyes. Was into eels. Right. Because Jonah in the whale made him a vampire. Right. As that happens. 
That's uh, famous artist Del Tutti. Okay. Who scammed him out of his uh, art business, and then he oh, became okay. an optician. <laughs> because he was obsessed, he was obsessed with, eyes. with eyeballs. Right. And then this guy, he stole his eyes and then gave him eel eyes instead. <laughs> and they became friends, and then they built this thing with the, the fucking... The, with the mermaid's help. The horrible mermaid of Venice. It was good. It was very wow. good. You've got... Did you guys uh, have fun? It was great. It was real good. A lot of fun. I hope people enjoyed. Wow, is that a runic Ouija board? Maybe. Oh, I feel like I was there now. <laughs> uh, uh, Lionel Johnson to these three bucks. Oh, well, good morning. Hello, brothers. Sorry I was gone so long. I was catching up with the VODs, but I'm back. I'm thinking of changing uh, the name of the chapter to Dark Kremlos now. <laughs> what do you think, manly lion noises? I mean, they do come from space. They do come from space. Uh, so I think um, calling them Dark Kremlos sounds very good. Mm. Very into that. Uh, thank you, Lionel Johnson. Uh, Tiger Proskaya. God, I can never, never pronounce it. Uh, they say, hi, guys. Tiger here. I missed Hello. a few streams due to work and having an infection in my jaw. Oh, boo. Uh, finally, starting to recover after three weeks. Have a meme. Please. Uh, here, oh, have I'm a meme. Feeling better. Um, Jaffa mod. That is not the meme. Oh, I just linked you just the fucking Jaffa mod thing. Here you go. Can you delete that old one? I think it's fine. They can't log into it, right? Hope not. Oh, wow! It's the new play car! Pew, 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 pew. Can they? <laughs> Maybe delete that one. <laughs> uh, Please, Nightjar. Please, Nightjar. Maybe. Someone explain this meme. It's Barbie. Barbie Mobile. I preferred it as a Mario Kart. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's very cute. What did the message say? Uh, it said, here, can't delete something by another mod. Oh, shit. Can we, like, click on the, the shield at the bottom, mod view. Mod view? Uh, I think I'll let you handle that. I don't know, what's going that's on. different to what I thought it was. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm sure it's fine. Fuck it. No, not shield. <laughs> I thought that was like mod view. We have to delete it. Well, I don't know how. That's the problem. How do we do it? Shield's the nuclear option. It's fine. They can't log in. Yeah, you have to have a login, right? Mm. Mm. Anyway, moving on. Moving on, they, uh, well, that was all, all the message was. Oh, uh, pretty good. It's the new summer look. Uh, that was Tiger Screw. They were ill, and then they gave us the meme. I like it. Uh, with Ongol, uh, they said, uh, tambourine and bongo. Uh, I'm here only briefly uh, before coming back to the pile. I have many a wacky sculpt for you. Ooh. How many wacky sculpts? Uh... That is some wacky stuff. Uh, here we go. Show me. There's a... Uh, oh, hello. A Cat Catman has extra arms. Very cool. Uh, and jetpack. Okay. Feels a bit like I'm looking at a Kickstarter roulette here. <laughs> also a helmet. And um, nothing else loads. The world's slowest load. Oh, Cruelly Tank. Wow, look at that. What are we looking at? I don't know. What is this? It's fucking... Ooh, wow. A human... Hum what are they Humantipede. called? Humantipede. Humantipede. <laughs> it's like a... Um, what are those roly-poly bugs called? Uh, woodlouse. Woodlouse. It's like the human woodlousepede. Oh, it's awful. Yeah, it looks like a Dark Souls. <laughs> yeah, it really does. 
Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for showing us your random shit. <laughs> Uh, banana Soup King doing its 10 bucks. Thank Super you. They say tomato soup and bean burrito. Ooh. Uh, crawling out of the pile to throw a hot load of pearls at you. Um, 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 I was very excited to hear about our new lords, mm. the Chorfs, coming in the DLC. Looking forward to Chorfs. Uh, what playstyle do you think they'll have? Mm. And will they survive the crowded badlands? I think they will shooty, rooty, tooty, shooty. I think they'll be like more aggressive dwarves. Mm -hmm. They'll be dwarves with some. Some war machines. Some monsters. Uh, and... Some expendable chaff. Yeah. I think it'll just be more fun dwarves. Yeah. Weirdly, I think they'll play a little bit like uh, a more shooty lizard man army. Yes, because they'll have the light troops, the heavy troops, and the monsters. Like monsters, but those monsters, because like, they show they've got like the big combat war machines. Mm-hmm. And like, Lizardmen already have a couple of artillery pieces. Mm, could Lizardmen with more shooting. Uh, yeah. But, like, instead of having the sort of, like, light ranged troops, even though they might have hobgoblins with bows or whatever. Yeah, they won't have so many skirmishes. Uh, like those uh, dwarf gunline type things. Um, I feel like they're going to have mm. similar kind of feels, those two yeah. armies. I'm excited. Go. I yeah. really am looking forward to playing Chaos Dwarves. Uh, Rob Graves, thanks three bucks. Mm. Uh, don't Rob Graves, shame on you. Uh, they say, uh, Hunter Tom and Old One Ben. Uh, you inspired me to get back into painting again after 25 years. Uh, my first big project is Bloodborne Board Game. Uh, here's my finished box one. Oh. Uh, in the method Ben uh, mentioned earlier, three boxes to go. Wow, what method did I mention? The, um, the dry brush white. Yeah. Yeah. The pre-shading. They look great. Ooh, they look very good. Wouldn't have been able to tell you've not painted in a long time. Uh, super duper cool. Nice. God, it works really well. Yeah. Oh man, I do like the, the minis from this. I've never really seen them before. They're kind of just the guys from the, the things. Yeah. Oh, I like the uh, sort of leprechaun-looking fella. <laughs> the Brick Boys. Man, these are really good. Cool. Horrible dogs? Just be naughty dogs. Oh. They look like bad men. Who's this guy? Uh, what's her name? Vicar... Um, Amelia. God, I don't I need to play some Bloodborne. I've never, got, never played it's it. the Bloodstarved Beast. Mm. Oh, that's very cool. Oh, it'll be so much more fun to play with all your all your minis done. Yeah, real, nice. real good. Well done. Thank you, Rob Graves. Uh, Chrome, did it's 10 bucks? Are you Chrome? They say, Mech Pilots, Tom and Ben. Mm -hmm. uh, any interest in From Software rebooting Armored Core 6? Oh. Uh, I'm just hoping they bring back uh, Arms Fort from Armored Core 4. Uh, was an amazing fighting and walking fortress made of six aircraft carriers with legs the size of skyscrapers. That sounds amazing. Shit. I don't know if I've ever played an Armored Core game. Uh, I never have done. I didn't know. From Software, they didn't make any of the others, did they? I could not tell you. I don't know. Well, I mean, graphically, it looks pretty cool. Not much gameplay info, though. They did make them. They? Well, it's hard to get excited until I can see the gameplay. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Cool. cool. Uh, what's is with bears? Then it's three bucks. Hey, what's is with bears? Thank you. Say, Tactical Tom and Buttons Ben. Mm. Uh, great tragedy has befallen my wallet. Oh, no. A local nerd shop is now doing Warhammer every Saturday. Some knights are on the way. Ooh. Uh, planning to run them loyal at first and then slowly convert them to chaos. Oh, no. Nice. Uh, just small stuff at first. That sounds like a very fun way. Yeah, that sounds fun. Fun way to do it. Enjoy. Uh, and Sandwich Guy. Do you know six bucks? Thank you, Sandwich Guy. Okay. Say, Tom Bun. Uh, I can see the light. Ah. The Vod Goblin pile. I'm almost out. Oh. Name something stupid after me. Like a bad model. Because I tried to catch something earlier. And just stabbed my own hand by accident. Oh, no. And now it's got a plaster. 
You can uh, be this guy. Bag, see you next week. Bag robot. You can be bag robot. That's you, sandwich guy. He's delivering your sandwiches <laughs> to the robots of the wasteland. Thank you. Uh, diamond boots, thanks, three bucks. Thank you, diamond boots. Mm. They say, funny eyeball Tom and bigger marine Ben. Johnson's back. Yes. He's pretty cool. Mm. But he sure is a dangle. Mm. Uh, I hope Roof. they do something more fun with the next ones. Uh, like the Demon Burb Corax or Odin looking Russ uh, with magic and stuff. Uh, money for the Volcano Ring Fund. <laughs> yeah, I hope they do some like wacky. Yeah, and... we've got enough big Marines now. Give us something. Something wilder. Mm. Uh, and Malador, 888. Five bucks, Malador. They say... Hey, both. Apologies if you've already answered this, but are you going to Warhammer Fest next month? No. Uh, also, thanks for the stream, uh, keeping me company after getting COVID at Adepticon. Oh, boo. Feels bad. That sucks. Um, no, I wasn't planning on going. Were you planning? No, I didn't even know it was on. Oh, yeah, because the know, golden, the golden ticket. tickets. They didn't, our golden tickets didn't come through in the post. There was some kind of mix-up. Heck. Uh, so sadly, couldn't go. I am thinking of going to Salute, though, which is um, at the Excel Centre in London at the end of April. I might be going to that, because there'll be lots of things there, not just whammies. Yeah, which sounds a bit more a bit more fun. Mm. Um, are they doing any tourneys or anything? Yeah, a whole bunch of stuff. Um, and I might go to the UK Games Expo, because there'll be lots, lots of stuff there, too. Not just whammies. Mm. Uh, that's about it. Blammo. Uh, mm. Very cool. Someone in chat said, I hope if Rush, Russ comes back, he's fat. That would be cool. Like Thor. I'd be into that. Big fat Russ. That'd be kind of kind of funny. What if he goes full Wolfen and he looks like a fairy? I'd be more interested in that. <laughs> yeah. Because what happened to him? Where did he go? He just went off one day. He was like, I'm going to go get the bad guys. I'll, I'll be back. See ya. See ya. Just like Korax and Jagatai. And Those guys Volk. are bad at time management. <laughs> I know, right? In fact, out of all of them, I think, what, two, like, Sanguinius and Manus actually died. Rogaldorn boarded a bad guy spaceship and then the good guy spaceship he was on like pulled away or got destroyed. Sad. So he was just like, guess he's dead then, but never found the body. Did they find his hands though? They found his hand. They've got his hand in a vault. The Imperial Fist. Yeah. And every chapter master gets to like engrave their name on it. Mm, Scrimshaw. Scrimshaw. That's right. Uh. Um, and then all the other ones... Just, just fucking wandered off and said, I'll be back later. See ya. So, Jagatai was just kited forever by the Dark Eldar, Dark Eldar. I think? Yeah, through the webway. And he's just... Still chasing... Furiously, like, I'm going to catch you! Do you think that Elder is just, like, purposefully slowing down a bit to let him catch up? Yeah, because every now and again he has to stop and, like, refuel his bike or whatever. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, which is super dumb. Uh. Oh, yeah, Vulcan. Vulcan wandered off. I know he was at the um, the War of the Beast. He turned up, and everyone was like, "Whoa, well, Vulcan's back!" And, and then he walked he, into like a fucking mega explosion, a, like a nuclear reactor. He tackles the beast into that, and they explode. But yeah. doesn't did he? But he came out or well, something. He always, the thing is, he always comes back to life, no matter what. Because he's a never die. He's a never die. But no one's seen him since the big explosion. So, who knows? Um, Korax went and chased Lorgar into the Eye of Terror. Yeah. He was like, it's all your fault, you fucking book nerd. So I don't mind as much them being in the Eye of Terror. Where time is fucky. Where, for them, like, it, literally 100 years could have passed. Mm. 50 years could have passed. Yeah. Everything. Time is fucky. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially because they're on demon worlds and stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, that seems to make a bit more sense. Mm. Um uh, is that all of them? It's probably an important one I've forgotten. No, that's all of them, right? I think so. What, Dawn, Sanguinius, Manus, 
Corax, Jagatai, Lion, Russ, Dillerman. Eight. One more. Vulcan. No, yeah, that's it, yeah, that's Vulcan. Vulcan. Nine. So Vulcan would be the most boring one to come back. Because he would just be the same. Yeah. All the other ones could get weird, legitimately. Except for, I don't want the ones who are dead to come back. I think that would suck the most. Because just take out any kind of fucking meaning of anything ever. Yeah. I don't even really want any of them to come back, but this is the train we're on. We're going to get one every three years now. To Look, Sanguinar turning up as a big angel monster. Sure, maybe his spirit possesses his most loyal son or something. I don't want him actually to be reincarnated. But no, but like have the avatar, the oh, it's a psychic memory of him that whatever, however the Sanguine all works at the moment. Mm -hmm. Like have a big model of that. That's the only version of Sanguinis that I really want. Mm -hmm. uh, I still like the idea of fucking Ferris Man Manus as a big robot. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, it turns out it's just an AI that thinks it's Ferris Manus. Or, yeah, they fucking have like a backup type thing <laughs> yeah they scanned his brain and it's yeah they do a brain scan and they put it in and they're like it's definitely not an AI because <laughs> yeah. it's perfectly mimicking him it's him it's, it's him he's born again in metal and the flesh is weak he's metal man yeah, now yeah we replaced everything with <laughs> metal but it's <laughs> yeah. not an AI like yeah. something like that that'd be cool um, and make him a giant giant fucking robo mm -hmm. that'd be cool yeah I like that uh and then, yeah, maybe make um, make the guy a furry, Lehman Russ. Uh, yeah, I don't really want to see him as a furry, I'll be honest. I'd much rather see him, like, all fucked up. I think that'd be more interesting than... than just space an Marine. angry space viking. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I just don't really care about space wolves, I'll be honest. Hmm. Uh, favorite Necron character? I honestly don't really know them all that well. No. J probably tr tr Trazen the Infinite. Yeah, he's the the guy. He's, he's the, the collecto. He's the guy from The Simpsons, right? Comic book guy. Yeah. Keeps everything in mint condition. Mm -hmm. Only lets it out of the packet when there's a galaxy-ending disaster happening. Yeah, yeah. I did like that he turned up at the fall of Cadia. And just like goofs, goofs around and a just, bit. Just, just like, here's a captured company of ultramarines I got one time. Yeah. He starts ripping open his mint packaging and letting out <laughs> these like random armies. Here's a regiment of gene spliced super aliens I, that are wiped out but I've kept the last like group of. Yeah. That was fun. Just open up po pokeballs left and right. Yeah and also he's like a fucking like button counter type guy as uh, <laughs> yeah. he I think it's like literally a bit in the uh, Infinite and the Divine where he like they have to get into this fight and he releases a bunch of um he captures this like imperial guard regiment mm -hmm. and as he does he's like fuck i really did like those guys buttons and like because of what they did they accidentally killed all the humans <laughs> and this is like the only pristine regiment because also they were on parade at the time <laughs> oh and they're a, a perfect cat is like the perfect one he's just like <laughs> oh god i have to fucking use them because otherwise shit's getting real but Oh, I did like those. They're irreplaceable. Like, yeah, these. Oh, <laughs> they're pristine uniforms. We'll never make it again. Uh, yeah, it was real good. Uh, real cool. That is fun. I mean, I don't literally know anything about any other Necron characters, so he wins by default for having a thing. He's got a thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's basically. More characters need things because I feel like 50, 50 to 90 percent of Space Marine characters have the same thing. You know. They're just our best and our bravest and their bravest. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, and they hate the Xenos. And all that <laughs> yeah. Stuff. Like, yeah. I want, I want, I'd love to distinguish them in some way. Something a bit more comedy, a bit more like goofy. Oh, yeah, Space Wolves have a thing. Very good one. <laughs> that you can have more Space Wolves, then. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, that's true, they do. They sure do have a thing. <laughs> uh, well, on that note, I think maybe we should be getting the heck out of here. Oh. Uh, thank you so much to everyone who joined us. Yes. Um, I hope you had a good time. hope you enjoyed this. Mm. Uh, definitely tune in next week because we're going to be starting week. new Warhammer campaign. Mm. 
very exciting, brand new stuff. Very cool. Uh, so we're going to be back back to that. Yep. Uh, I can't imagine there's going to be too much like regular Warhammer news, and so we're going to be jumping in mm -hmm. to... Straight in, like, I reckon 15 minutes of Warhammer news then into the game. Yeah, straight up. Good. I'm back tomorrow. I'm doing three streams tomorrow. Quite Wait. frankly, too much. What the heck? What Harry and I are doing? starting at 11. We're going to play... Um, we're taking up the baton of the Hitman free Freelancer Challenge, where uh, we've got to beat Sarah and Daff's score from last week. Wow. We haven't played before, so it's going to go badly. Right, row. Then, two till five, Harry and I are going to carry on our Pokemon Rimworld, which is very exciting. Wow. So many amputations on our Pokemon. So many deliciously et Pokemon. Farming, farming slow pokes. Very tasty. And then from five till eight, I'm going to be on my own channel doing my own shit. Jeez. That's a lot, that's a lot of streams. Man. Streaming. And then you and I are back. No, not you and I. Sorry. On Friday, I'm doing another stream uh, with Sips and Lydia and Boba and me. Hey, that's four. <laughs> yeah, we're going to play Across the Obelisk. I'm doing nice. too many streams this week. Very cool. So many streams. Wow. Well, catch us then. See ya. Goodbye. Does it work? Let's try it.